I don't know if it's all real. Okay, I think I don't know if it's all legit that go. I did. It's St. Patrick's Day after all. Stop reminding me. Saint pa- oh, you don't like the Irish because you're t- so Italian? They're like your mortal enemies? <laughs> That's what are not the mortal it, enemies of Italian people? Of Irish, women, I know you hate women. The Irish and the Italians don't hate each other. We, we identify the you're Irish. You're the same? You're the guys that are like brothers? There's a lot of Irish-Italian families, Means, you know? I, like what? All the all the immigrants would uh, get together and make little babies. Ew, e- babies. Yeah. E- uh, so go ahead and tell the class. <laughs> tell the class what you were just well, telling just, me, Mister you know, Juice Waldy. I think we're gonna we're gonna have to move the show because pressing and, concerns have come up. I don't think we can do it on Fridays anymore. And why is that? What's the most well, pressing thing that's come up? Well, the Wizards of the Coast Company has been <laughs> issuing limited edition promo cards. That are only available playing at their Friday tournaments, and clearly... I'm going to fucking lose my mind, man. <laughs> How could you support this fucking company after they blacked Aragorn? Aragorn, because whatever they black his Aragorn, name Aragorn, is. But then they go, okay, but here's a limited they edition... They blacked Aragorn, and they he- Chinese Galadriel. Yeah, <laughs> but they go, here's a limited edition Tarmogoyf. You can only win at this Friday tournament. Tarmogoyf? Uh, Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf? One of the many goyfs in the uh, Stop magic this universe. They would fuck you up. They would black you. I, Hasbro would weirdest, black you I in know. a second the if they people, could. They would replace I've you. I've seen the people who work at Wizards of the Coast. They're all a pink-haired social justice people. Blacky Armas. They hate me and Blacky people Armas. like me. Yeah. But then they release these limited edition, a like Glenelendra Archmage in the retro frame oh, treatment. Oh, no! That I have to play in this Friday tournament or I cannot obtain one. So you have to go play in this dumb magic tournament on Friday night. So you can't do the show on Fridays anymore because you have to go play magic to get worthless cards. And your problem in the Mario episode was what? Uh, which one? I have- oh, you know, what, what one could possibly relate to a never-ending quest of acquiring worthless items and dr- by, driven by a compulsion The coin to do so. one? Yeah, yeah, the coin one. You don't see that as the same? I just just trash all that stuff. I just really want a retro frame Clannel under Archmage. I mean, what what is wrong with that? We can't move They're the whole show. They're reprinting Tarmogoyf in the future site frame, Dick, in foil treatment <laughs> in Japanese, and it's going to be Japanese language. I might start a magic card channel. I might uh, I might quit making. You know what? I'm going to quit this show. I'm going to quit my YouTube channel. <laughs> Just bus packs And I'm open. just going to make Magic the Island content because it's the only thing that brings me any amount of happiness anymore. Me and Adam22 are going to do busting packs and busting nuts. <laughs> we're doing a, it's a porno channel where we open packs of Magic cards while we're while banging chicks. women. That'd yeah. be pretty good. And then we got to go, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to squirt. I'd enjoy and that. And we bust open, we come and bust the pack open and spray the cards and come everywhere. What do you think about that? I think that's Do great. you think we're demonetized now? On, is that in the rules <laughs> for the demon- YouTube? <laughs> Can you talk about 30 seconds. The busting you, inside of women in the first 30 seconds. And it's not gay because we're doing two girls. It's just two guys being naked, banging girls. Dick, the point is that I've realized this world has literally nothing left to offer me. And the only thing I find any enjoyment from is uh, sorting my magic card collection. So I have to ruin that. They're turning. They're, they're, uh, they, they're giving the kids cartoons now, Dick. <laughs> On a trans cartoon? That are just is that what breaking, you're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> This cartoon broke you, yeah, I think right? this cartoon really Frank broke me. Buffalo. No, he's Fred. You don't even oh, know the name Fred, of the fucking... And he's Fred, a bison. He's not a Fred buffalo. Bi- there, there, what's the difference? Fred the non-binary bison. <laughs> this is... A- <laughs> 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 This is my. This is the most greatest piece of art. This is better than the Sistine Chapel. No. This is better than our mutt. Uh, this is better than the impermanence of shark thing. Whatever. Yeah. This is better than anything <laughs> Picasso ever did. Shark. Yeah. This is the greatest piece of art ever made. I mean that seriously. Ridley Jones, the uh, transgender. How do I fucking play it? Go to uh, go to you my Twitter. I was on my Twitter. Oh, it's point. on your Twitter. Well, remember, you're I- obsessed with this shit. <laughs> I'm not obsessed. <laughs> That's the problem is they make you obsessed. Okay, so let me let me put on my Vito Twitter browsing Vito's music. Twitter. Oh my god. Vito's Twitter. <laughs> Vito being Vito Where is on it? Twitter. Click the media Where is tab it? and you'll find it quicker. Oh, I, I'm so Vito's actually, Twitter. I don't know with hot no, girls. No, but I retweeted Vito's it. So I don't know what's going on under there. Vito being Vito on Twitter. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This also annoyed me on Vito's Twitter. Why? Look at this shit. 
This you post, I'm working at GameStop, I used to hoard all the weird pre-order bonuses. For instance, this cute little plush pig from Monster Hunter on PSP. So you would fucking hoard <laughs> all these cool and cute toys so the fans of the no, game would no, come in no. and have zero chance of getting, like, this is something that a kid would want. It's a cute little pig with a shirt. You yeah. have no, like, it's just like, it's so nihilistic okay, of you to, to take Shut up. this from a kid to just hoard it like a fucking dragon, dude. Do you not see that? Look, as I explained, if people pre-ordered the game, we we would give them the little toy. We didn't like take extras. It was like, uh -huh. it was like if it was sitting in the bin for months and nobody had like claimed it, then I would take. That's it. not what you said in this tweet, though. Okay, but like I wasn't gonna steal. I, I can't think of anything. You said you'd hoard it and buy and obviously buy it for yourself. You'd hoard all these fucking things so no one could get anything good. No, they were all just sitting around. Nobody wanted them anyway. Everyone wants that little pig. Look at it. It's adorable. It was adorable. Let's keep in mind I was like 16 at the time. I was a child myself stealing toys That's from myself. You're not a fucking child. You're saying you don't think a 16-year-old girl could be a hot? A little kid was not going to play <laughs> Monster Hunter anyway. I'm not going to be called a pedophile for thinking a 16-year-old could be. Oh, my God. Uh, where is it, dude? It's you fighting with this guy. I think it's after I fight you with this guy. You said you hated Andor, and then he called you All right, I don't want to talk pedophile. about any of this bullshit. <laughs> Go on, uh, go on. It's past that. I'm Mayo pretty sure. Is a, wait, before or at, before? I thought it was after. after. I tweet a lot of things. Yeah, come on, man. You got to give me something better than that. Fred the bison. bison. Yeah, somebody old. Fred Bison. All right, here we, here go. we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here okay. we go. This is the cartoon the that has broken me forever. That's why it's such a. That's what makes this piece so interesting. Is that if this shows you what your liberalness <laughs> has, has finally earned led you, to. and it's a life of evil. I know you. This this video showed you that you are in fact well, the I, bad I have guy. No, I have no. I have nothing. <laughs> I have no defense anymore. Because it's always and it's always like oh, yes. yeah. No matter what you did, somehow it led to a children's cartoon oh. about a non-binary bison. It's like the Highlander. I'm absorbing all your power. Okay, you guys oh. did your own shit too. So uh, it's not like you guys. <laughs> Y'all the right. If we let you guys make cartoons, they who would you, all. Who just, is my guys that you're referencing? The Satan? January 6th uh, defendants. Those aren't my guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, this is a little. This is a little car cartoon for little children. Here we go. I, I need to tell you. Really? But it's time to start. I know. I don't want the recorded with somebody's fucking Does, cell phone. That one right up there was probably. I think this one no, is good. Not. I think it is good audio though. All right. <laughs> It's, it's, it's in fucking, fucking French, French, bro. <laughs> Come on, God, you fucking assholes. Says that okay, here we go. Well, my heart says that the way I feel most myself is to go by the name Fred. That's because I'm non-binary. <laughs> and Fred's the name that fits me best. <laughs> and I also use they and them. Because calling me a she or a he doesn't feel right to me. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, 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 oh. I'm glad you can crack jokes struggling. about this because I'm just going to jump off. No wonder you've been struggling lately, she says. No wonder you've been struggling lately. My heart said. You know that's from? Woohoo! Uh, Dutch Strange Love, riding right the yeah. Major Kong, riding right that bomb, riding right right into the bomb. heart of liberals. Woohoo! Woohoo! Major Kong! Uh, Major Kong, where'd it go? Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! No, I don't want to call this grooming. <laughs> But I can understand. <laughs> uh, Vito, Vito, this is Sergeant Slaughter God here. Are you a friend? Are you a friend or are you not a friend, Vito? We only have we can have GI Joes oh, and GI Freds in this <laughs> army, Vito. No. Drop and give me, <laughs> no. drop and give me twenty mastectomies, God. Vito. Oh my! Get down there, Vito. <laughs> I bet you thought you were. I bet you thought you could, win, you could liberal your way into being a hero, didn't you, Vito? Well, that's not what it takes, I'm on Vito. The, I'm on the side of the bad people. Vito, I'm you're, bad you're on the side of Cobra, Vito. I'm on the side of you Cobra. You know what Cobra does to kids? I'm working with Cobra the whole time. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Drop it, give me twenty right now, Vito. We're poisoning. <laughs> we're poisoning a generation. It's not with poison. Complete nonsense. Joe's got to feel comfortable all the time. Yeah, Whatever wanna, they got below the waist. Joe. 
this is the most. You've got to have a comfortable Joe, Vito. This is what children should be talking about. <laughs> this is the lessons that children should be learning. Is what fucking stupid oh. pronouns their cartoon oh. bison toy use? Uh, where do you think you start? Where the, did you think that the fuck up started? I don't. I. I <laughs> where was it? Was it free health care? Is that where you guys went wrong? <laughs> that was probably before that. Was it giving women the right to vote? I think we got cocky. I think the liberals got cocky, and they also got scared. <laughs> scared of what? Uh, of, Wieners? Of black uh, people <laughs> and uh, gay people and <laughs> not giving them every single thing they asked for. You know? Vito, there's plenty in America. <laughs> there's plenty to go around, Vito. If black people or gay people want anything, I want you to drop and give me 20. I think like drop and give me 20, Vito. <laughs> We got to this point where if a minority said they wanted something, that's we, right. Good we, start. We just gave it to them. Sound off. And we Sound never off like you got a pair. We never stopped to say, well, maybe you don't need that, or maybe that's not actually good. No, 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 no. That's wrong, Vito. <laughs> they get whatever they want, Vito. <laughs> whatever they want. Whatever they want. Yeah. I flew here in a jet to train you. God damn it, for Sergeant America. <laughs> Are you trans now, Sergeant Slaughter? That's none of your business, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Sergeant Fred Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter. I'm a Fred. <laughs> Are you a Fred non through and through? Non binary, Vito. Neither We're male all, nor female, just drop, Fred. Drop and give me 20 genders right now, Vito. Let's go. Zim, Zer, Z, Z, like, she, <laughs> she, Shim, Shazmataz. I remember the DuckTales would like find treasure, or, like Alvin of the chipmunks had to get to the big show. The greatest treasure of all is finding your true self, Vito, and coming out to your grandma, Vito. The greatest treasure on earth is having your grandma respect your gender pronouns, Vito. Uh, that's true, I guess. Now drop and give me 20. Drop and give me 20 reasons why we should have reparations for that black people, Vito. Of, uh, drop right Troop, now. Where Max talks about cutting off his genitalia to become his truest self. I forgot about that one. Vito, drop and give me 20 reasons why the J6 people deserve to go nah. to prison for four years. Right now, Vito. <laughs> All right. Vito, drop and give me 20 reasons why Sergeant we should be in Ukraine. Slatina, come on. This is too much Sergeant now. Sergeant Fred Slaughter. Sergeant Let's go, Fred Vito. Slaughter. I'm not giving you 20 anything. I just want off this rock. Drop and give me 20 bucks. Zelensky you needs. Zelensky no. needs some candy. Don't bring candy. Ukraine into this. Zelensky <laughs> needs some candy, do. Vito. Let's, let's, Zelensky needs some action oh, figures, God. Vito. Not you. He needs some magic cards. There's a sliver deck. A commander <laughs> sliver deck coming out. Yeah. Zelensky needs that sliver deck, Vito. So drop and give me 20 bucks. This is the darkest timeline. Just Can children's entertainment just be fun? Does it have to teach an insane liberal lesson based on no science or reason whatsoever. Vito, give me 20 reasons why we should trust the science. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Move it. Hup, 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 hup. Mass. Coronavirus. Vaccinations. Oh Let's hear it. God. Let's hear it, Vito. You guys win. You guys win. I give up. There is I no lose. There's no winning in more, Vito. There is no winning. There's just dropping and giving me 20 I'm jobs just, that a woman could do better than a man, I'm Vito. 20 reasons why right. a woman president would be better a than a man, Let's make a cartoon about the Let's gender go, pay Vito. gap. Let's, Let's make a cartoon about... The distant. I mean, did you see the Proud family talking about why reparations are necessary? I this is. I give up. I give up. Give me twenty more reasons why a white man should give up, Vito. I need it right now. I want you to. Here's a shovel. You dig your own grave, Vito. I wish I could, because I want to be in a grave. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I like like it's funny, but also I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Those sound like cobra words, Vito. There's, as long as you're moving, there's still stuff for you, you and to the give. Other GI Janes and all the transformers and all I'm the squeeze the blood out of you, Vito. Non-binary ducks and whatever the fuck else. Vito, and, do you even know what it's like to be I a hope trans the, I hope the black rug rats, lesbian in Hollywood? I hope the Rugrats discover their true genders. Let's do that next. Let's, uh, you know. Bring back the all real monsters. Deal the, mo the real monster was transphobia all along. Deal Pickles wants to be known as Pussy Pickles now, Vito. <laughs> I bet that surprises you. I bet you're giggling like a little girl. Drop and give me 20 reasons why Deal Pickles should be called Pussy Pickles. I'm just really, I don't know how to process and any Stew of this. And Stew Pickles has to come to terms with that, Vito. <laughs> the grandpa's dead. He died of COVID because you're too selfish to wear a mask. I'm glad that you're able to comedian your way through this situation, you know? What situation? <laughs>
I'm glad that you're still able to laugh at the madness. I'm just I love I'm it. I'm just broken. <laughs> I just look at the next generation of kids and all they're talking about is their neurodivergence <laughs> and how what gender they are each day. And I go, I don't want to be on a planet with these people and the people who are creating these people. Monday, slime asexual. <laughs> Tuesday, dream kid. Thursday, man, but a black one. Friday. Friday. When are we going to have our first? A furry. Oh, yeah, Saturday, say. Jamie Lee Curtis's daughter. How, uh, be, how many years are we away? The most beautiful woman in the world. I don't want to drag Jamie Lee Curtis's daughter. And Dylan, this. and Sunday, I'm, my gender is Dylan Mulvaney <laughs> on Price is Right. <laughs> what do you think of that, Vito? Are you going to buy her him chocolates? Are you going to join the proud war, the proud men and shims and shams of the G.I. Joes? I just want to go back to when this was all so much simpler. Oh, you want to go back to 2005 <laughs> with the rest of the turfs? Is that yeah, right, Vito? I do. I really do. <laughs> mm, I was much happier bigot. there. Exactly. I, I, I liked in 2005, I knew that I was a nice, good, progressive person. I bet you want, I bet when you think but of a now, woman, you imagine an independent lawyer or something like that <laughs> and not and not a fat man in diapers <laughs> take, drawing furry porn, you bigot. Yeah, that's, yep. <laughs> I don't know what's. I've got news for you, Vito. Okay. Times are a changing. Times are a changing, and it's up to a Joe to stay. To, it's up to a GI friend to stay tough. Okay, Sergeant Slaughter. Thank you. Drop and give me twenty Sergeant of your Fred favorite Slaughter. quotes about trans. About trans. Why? Give me twenty reasons why trans people deserve to exist, Vito. Drop and give me twenty. <laughs> I'm so. Did you I'm, like the twenty bit that was drop and give me twenty, and then it was like a liberal thing? <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it fucking didn't start right again. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're all. It doesn't matter. Biggest problem in the universe. Welcome. Yeah. The biggest problem in the universe. It's the only show that ranks every problem in the universe from first trapping to post purchase tracking. Yes. Snome. I'm your host, Sick Masterson. Joining me as always, you know, just Waldy. Wow, that's the normal today. No, everything is fucking great. All my is ba- in. Every child's cartoon character is gay, <laughs> and the world is a rainbow that I will never be able to slide into a grave. <laughs> you voted for it. I did vote for it. <laughs> Enjoy it. You made it. Enjoy it. Roll around. It's gonna it. happen regardless of me. I take no responsibility for this. Leave me alone. All right. The world. The world continues to become a never-ending clown show, and uh, someone needs to turn the music up louder to drown out the sound oh, of my heart sad beating itself boy. to death. Oh boy, so sad. I bet you thought you were gonna improve the world, and here you are r- ruining There's it. There's no way to improve. The world is oh. fucked. <laughs> We're just fucked. Um, hey, uh, Winner's Drink is now an app no. on the Android store. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy so St. Patrick's Android, Day. Go to, oh shit, I should have put up a domain for it. Go search for Winner's Drink on the Can't Android you get store. app now? Isn't that a thing? I don't know. Whoops, I messed it Whoops. up. Whoops. All right, uh, we also had. On the Android app store, Winner's Drink. Is that with an apostrophe? Oh shit, I don't know. <laughs> The first printing I messed up. I know you did. Uh, <laughs> just go search for it. Put You'll it in, find you know, get it. Get it right. Put in the fuck it. Spell it the other way. You'll find we it. We also got 11,000 views on the last video, which I think is the Why first is time that? we naturally crossed over 10,000 because the channel's growing. It's good. Must have done something wrong. Oh, boy. Must have done something different. You know, at least you're not having Adam 22's problems. No, I'll, you know why we got the boost is because we were on no jumpers, so people showed up. Tell everybody what happened with the uh, Scott Adams thumbnail. <clears throat> oh, uh, so we went on no jumper, and part of the discussion was to talk about Scott Adams. Look up no jumper clips on YouTube. Okay. And uh, the thumbnail, unfortunately, just says Adam22 talks about Scott Adams saying that was a wild thing black people just- are a hate group. Yeah. And then me and Destiny are in the thumbnail. So everyone, <laughs> because the audience doesn't know who Scott Adams is, yeah, they think that me and Destiny are t- saying that black people are a hate <laughs> Where group. Where is it? Where is uh, it? Two days ago. It would have been a couple days. Yeah. Okay. Search for Scott Adams. You'll find it. 
And uh, so all the comments are just saying, why did Adam 22 bring on all these bigots <laughs> to yeah, talk okay. about? Yeah, there you go. Scott Adams calls black people a hate group. But they think that they I'm think you're Scott, Scott Adams. Adams. <laughs> Because I'm the only a guy Everyone in the thumbnail. Knows so it just says, Scott Adams calls black people a hate group. And they think that I'm Scott Adams. And all the comments are black guys going, fuck this fat Nazi. I hope he kills himself. <laughs> you got done dirtier. I got done pretty dirty. You got done dirty. They didn't specify Vito talks about Vito, Scott this Adams. Is, this is Scott Adams. Not pictured. Yeah. Well, there's a little, there's a little head of his at the bottom, but like you can barely see it. It's like your eye instantly goes to the big fat guy. So it looks like Vito is calling black people a hate group. And literally, like nobody watched the video. Every com if you look at the top comments, click on it real quick. It's just like, why is Adam Twenty Two bringing on Make these Nazis? The uh, Scroll down a little uh, bit. I should have worn longer socks. Look, you can see my leg. No, I shouldn't have wore sweatpants. So what are you gonna do? Uh, do you have any stains on your sweats? Probably. Uh, Adam used our culture for a platform, and now he's showing his true colors. <laughs> Adam, Adam bringing bring on, on his, his people. people. Adam is uh, just showing y'all what he actually thinks. Adam and Nazi arc. <laughs> Read that one. Adam is entering his neo-Nazi arc. He went from looking like a neo-Nazi to hanging with them. <laughs> <laughs> and we were all very much, we're, we're all, all making fun of what he said. We're all black and like anti-Scott I mean, Adams. We were, we were all making fun of all right. what Scott Adams we said. We were all Let's making be, fun of Scott Adams. I, you know, I don't want you to, to wee me into some kind of a jackpot here. Shut up. <laughs> wee me. Uh, 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 so yeah, plenty of comments saying that why is Adam hanging out with these Nazis like Vito, that horrible bastard? Oh, that being said, we did have a ton of fun on No Jumper. That episode is now available on the No Jumper uh, site on yeah. YouTube. And if Adam has us in and, and any other time when he's getting uh, surprised by a, a pe pedophile, pedophile hunter, hunter, I will knock their Adam. Put me in. I will knock their ass out in the studio. I would take that menorah and a, shove a it at that guy's ass. Pedophile hunter did uh, confront Adam Twenty Two, and uh, that is the current No Jumper drama. Drama, which uh, we do not support. Pedophiles uh, or pedophile hunting? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't support going into a guy's podcast and then saying he bringing up weird texts from like twenty years ago. I mean, uh, I don't know what happened. Guy's got it, me. He said the living, he said right? the girl was nineteen. I, I don't know the specifics of it. I don't just know just that specifics. it happened and that uh, it's a curse that follows me around. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm on your show, it's probably going to. But if you want it, what is essentially a beautiful bonus episode of this show featuring Adam 22 and Destiny, go to yeah. No Jumper on YouTube and check it out and leave a comment. Let them know you want to see us back on No Jumper. Yeah. It's like, and I can't uh, get enough of these guys. I can't get enough of these neo-Nazis. I can't like, get enough of these white boys. Uh, wow, they they, they really by. denied your Hispanic uh, heritage. Can you check the chat and make sure the audio is working, by the way? I just want to make sure it's not I one of those shows. Bit. I did a little bit. I fucking right. clicked it a little bit. All right. guys. Okay. See, I did that at the beginning. No, 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 no. I just, I'm very paranoid. All right. Uh, should I also bring up one other thing from my Twitter? Or from, oh. uh, well, not my Twitter. Oh, okay, what? Vito's what Twitter. You, you brought it up is that we Vito's have our Twitter. first ever celebrity... What is the biggest problem in the universe? Oh, yeah, okay. Where we, I have found, let me set this up. There are these guys who have a YouTube channel. They have like less than 2,000 followers. I think they're the same kids who killed Tom Sizemore with meth. Oh, that was funny. funny. Yeah. <laughs> they're doing more stuff? Yeah, well, they also, they just torment Andy Dick by trapping him on their yacht and forcing him to live stream. They have a yacht? Yeah, wow. well, not a yacht. I get in with it's these like guys a boat killing or Tom I guarantee you, if you if we like wanted to hang out with these guys, they're like desperate because this was the worst stream ever and they're talking about, we can't even take donations. Why are we even fucking streaming this shit or whatever? Huh. And anyway, so I, made, I sent a bunch of our guys over there because nobody was watching the stream. It had like oh. five people watching, so I sent okay. a bunch of these problem guys over there. And we right. were just spamming the chat. Cool. Saying, ask Andy... What is the biggest problem in the universe? And this is what he said. And he finally answered the question. All right, let's hear it. Okay. This is a serious question. Okay. Oh, God. What is the biggest problem in the I'm universe? I'm looking at him. In the universe. Uh, Misunderstanding and disconnection. Right. Let me think about it. The biggest problem. Yeah, think about it. Don't just answer right away. First of all, that's a... 
loaded question because you're basically saying the universe has a problem, That's which exactly. I don't agree with. Okay, well. Uh, I can always squash right. your question because I don't agree. Why are you doing all those I drugs then? So How about that for a fucking right. question then, Mr. Yeah. Fucking Improv so, Comedian? Hey, buddy, you're a funny guy. What do you think the biggest problem in the universe is? Well, I mean, that's a loaded question. Uh, <laughs> Andy on, Dick, on, let me do more of this. Let me do more of these drugs. <laughs> Actually, I don't think there are any problems. Yeah. Do you have any except wow. this drink being low? Hilarious streams from the great Andy Dick. If you want more of that, I don't even remember the name of the fucking channel. What about that time you were climbing out of an RV window to get away from what someone you, who was going to rape you? Yeah, well, that's the other thing. He currently has, like, two rape charges. Uh, we have talked about getting Andy Dick to come on this show. We just honestly... I, I almost don't want him in my house. I'm, like, worried he would, like, break something or commit a crime because yeah. he's fucking nuts. yeah. But I don't know. Maybe if you had like a handler, or if we had a, you need a security what guard, a, like a, you need a security Lecter. guard, like Adam Twenty Two has. You need a big guy to spook him. <laughs> <laughs> to what him? Spook him. <laughs> Regardless, uh, our first ever celebrity answer, what is the biggest problem in the universe? The answer is, that's a loaded question, man. Hey, thanks, Andy. Uh, so what I'd like to remind you guys out there, if you're watching a stream or you're on the street and you see someone famous or semi-famous, if you're at a convention maybe, yeah, go up to a convention yeah. booth, just take out your phone and go, hey, real quick, what is the biggest problem in the universe? Yeah. I'm going to put out a bounty. Anyone who gets this a clip of somebody who's interesting, yeah. I'll give you 50 bucks. And then when they answer, uh, uh, call them a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> $50 dollar bounty. If we played the clip on the show, I will send you 50 bucks if you can get a good celebrity to answer that question. Okay. Here we, are you ready for the... Yes. Uh, Post-purchase surveys won last week. It's not a bad one. Thirst Traps was next. Okay, and Dick with a twofer. Somebody else brought in these duds. Demographic Dummies. Which is a and, great problem. Hmm. Demographic Dummies is a fantastic problem. <sighs> right wing alt tech at the very bottom. People don't like when I shit on the right wing. Yeah, because we see the world you made with these little bison. Okay, but you guys are just making rumble where you just endlessly complain about, I don't even fucking know. Fucking. Ooh, why bison. are all these liberal little women having bison. abortions and shit? It's like both sides want to destroy the world. I just didn't realize how bad both sides would get. Like, I knew the left was bad. Rookie I knew mistake. the right was bad. And you're both going so extreme. We didn't do that. Okay, yes, you're not making things. Went to Ukraine. <laughs> Went to all this stuff. No, but you guys did all this QAnon bullshit, and so the what? election this is stolen, is and we're going to storm the halls of government. So? See, this is the bullshit, is that you guys go, we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. You're both fucking insufferable. I'm sick of Maybe, it. Maybe, but we're not doing anything. All right. Good. Grant. As I was saying, Martin O'Keefe says uh, expensive figurines and statues of pop, pop culture characters are worthless, Vito. You like them because you think they have value. You could just 3D print a model of a character and have the same effect of a, as a licensed product. But you know that it has no value, and you can't lie to yourself about that. You've surrounded <laughs> Health with worthless plastic. The only people that think any of that stuff has value are losers. Much love from a pub in Ireland. Wow. St. Patrick's Day. I wanted to respect St. Patrick's the Day. The Irish yeah. are gone. I think I've revealed this on the show. I am part Irish. Oh, wow. I'm Irish Italian. Okay. And a little German. All right. It's probably it's why. always fascinating when white people tell you about their rich heritage. It's interesting. And a little French as well. A little French too. Yeah. Any English? I don't think so. Scandinavian? No. I don't know. My East sister German? my sister did one of those DNA tests. I should ask her for the results. Any black? Any black I in there? I don't think we're blank. Get any black in there, buddy? I should find I think she was disappointed. I don't think we found nothing interesting. You find out. a bum to lick the tip with you? Get some in there. I'll, I'll give a bone to the show's conspiracy theorists. I found out I'm 70% as Kanazi Jew. Go tell Kiwi Farms. You did? No. Oh. But that's what How's they that always say on this show. That you're Jewish? That I'm a secret crypto Jew trying to subvert something. What's a crypto Jew? I mean, <laughs> I'm afraid to ask now. Because I've heard it so much. It's the idea that, like, you're like encrypted. Is it like a... No, it's like a like Jewish Hubert? guy. Because he, he's got that big nose and he speaks like... <laughs> it's a Jewish guy who successfully infiltrates and passes as a Gentile in order to subvert society 
to oh, the- that's what crypto means? Yeah, it's like secret Jew. So if you're a crypto fascist, it means like you're just pretending yeah. to be into democracy? Yeah. Oh. I think okay. so. That makes sense to me. Well, I don't care. It's like care. all these movie stars who changed their name from like Schleimy Steinowitz. You stole to, uh, That's the name, fake Jewish name I said on the bonus episode. Well, I stole it. Schleimy Witz. Schleimy Witz. <laughs> and they change it to, uh, what do you call it? Dick Van Dyke or whatever it is. Hmm. I don't actually know what Dick Van Dyke was um, Jewish. Spike McJabs. Clark Gable, I think, was Jewish. Oh, really? No, I, I have no idea. Hmm. Uh, Spike McJabs says, Lol, Vito lights up as soon as he has pretty hair to play with. He looks so damn happy when you had that mullet I on. I did enjoy having that hair. We're going to go to where? Dubai? We are? Yeah, for hair transplants. No, turkey. Was it turkey? Yeah. I don't care. Do you really want to do that? Yeah, let's do it for the show. I mean, let's. I'll go. I'm not getting hair transplants. Why not? Though. You could get like some I got extra fucking hair. Yeah, but you could like <laughs> push it forward a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to do- fuck with what I got here. <laughs> yeah, you get a little extra like hairline. <laughs> like just one line? Apparently, like I can go to Dubai or wherever. You think it's Turkey? I don't remember. It's not Dubai. But it's like six grand. At the most. Well, let's find the cheapest one. And we could do it for the show. Like, what if the fans will make a whole episode that Dick and Vito. What if I got it on my biceps and I had like. <laughs> hairy ass biceps. Hairy biceps. It's like, bitches don't even fucking know I would about document this. the whole thing. I think it would be hilarious. Oh, it would be hilarious. They have like a they have like a nice little luxury resort you stay at where you wait for them to. Does that mean you want the show to pay for hair? it? No, I want the fans to pay for it. Uh. <laughs> Or not. I mean, whatever. Uh, all, do, right. all right, whatever. Regardless, if I do it, I will film it and we'll monetize it. You have to it. finish Super Killer first. I'm finishing it. It's happening. All right. Britsman says the automobile in the suburbs are the reason there's no communities in the U.S. It's such a pain in the ass to congregate together. It's much much easier to stay atomized in your McMansion. Um, I don't think everyone has a McMansion. I wish I had a McMansion. Alexander uh, Luvnyov says, Lol, I am a, marti- a mortician. Remember that guy that wrote in? Yes. He was embalming. Fifth generation. So nice. Fifth, so five, like, wow, my, your whole family. My father was a mortician. <laughs> his father was a mortician. So you're all creeps. And his father and his yeah. father before him. Also worked as a, as a deputy coroner for a few years. That was rough. Went back to funeral service. My general life is so insane, and I <clears throat> so commonly see things no human should ever see. Take pictures. The this Overton show. window <laughs> in my mind of what's completely normal is shifted. Takes a tragedy of ep- oh, you found it. Thank you. Tragedy of epic proportions anymore to make me cry, and it takes humor on your guys' level where I never know what's next to make me laugh anymore. Wow. See, there's hope yeah. after all, Vito. We're helping. Vito's dancing around mortality with his insane <laughs> shooting fantasies and wanting to kill himself, <laughs> coupled with your own shows. Thanks for not killing yourself. And both of them being a theater for the insane makes me able to crack a smile in the most uh, insane places. That being said, if you do kill yourself, don't use a gun. I have to reassemble your skull for your family, and the coroner will not bother to get your brain pieces, so I'll have to use cotton or wire. Well, thank you for listening, and thanks for the tip. If I kill myself, uh, if he says, <laughs> <laughs> let's just say thinking. whatever the cops decide to fill if me full of, fast, it's on them. Okay. It will be death by cop after I, I don't know, commit a mass shooting or blow up an orphanage or whatever. It'll just be like Super Killer. You'll never get around. Nah. You'll plan and plan and plan. Nah, I I'm picked gonna, a perfect school. I'm going to Dorner it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to Dorner it. Dorner fucked up. Yeah, Dorner fucked up. I'm going to not fuck up. I'm going to get the boat ready to go. Um, I'm not going to okay. go to Big Bear, hide in a cabin like an idiot. <laughs> What do you do? You have anything for us? I have some Vito's Twitter, but honestly, we've done so much stuff on Twitter. Well, already. I have an exciting segment, Dick, and uh, okay. it's called "Vote It Up." All right, vote it up, vote it up. Uh, you know it really isn't <laughs> hard. Vote it up, vote it up. Stop acting like a retard. You know. Show. I fucking hate this stupid song. <laughs> All 
right. I hate give me tw- <laughs> Vito Joppin, give me 20 reasons why that was an empowering lesbian feminist <laughs> fantasy that's not for the amusement of men, Vito. I really Drop and give me 20 more ideas for sequels to Frozen. Give me, drop and give me 20 reasons no. why the plot to Frozen does not need to make sense for your male sensibilities, Vito, right now. Oh, God. I got, I got like halfway through that stinger and I went, man, I just hate this fucking song. I got halfway through that movie before I had to come. <laughs> It's an empowering lesbian adventure for, for right. four-year-olds. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. Uh, I'm going to suggest to the audience, guys, I'm running dry on stingers. So How is that possible? <laughs> I don't know, because I just don't care anymore. Just search for, what do you mean? <laughs> Just search for any song. Okay, but like, do you some, think hair is gonna make you care? I guess the problem is that like some of the stingers, I'm like, oh, this is a really good one. And then some of them, I'm doing, it, I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> it's all just, <laughs> it's man, all trash. It's all just I gotta you throw them pretending away. to make songs. Watch, <laughs> Thriller, you gotta vote it, vote it, vote well, it. The up. audience problem can that do show. that as well. Biggest problem that show. It's fucking easy. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm vote it up, vote it up. At I'm the just open. I'm opening it up. If anyone in the audience feels like they want to try to make a voted up stinger, oh, okay. I think it could be fun. Okay. And so uh, you have that option. You can head to the Discord. There's the voted up channel posted in there. Maybe we'll use it on the show. Vote bottom girls. Yeah, I know. There's like <laughs> a million. The worlds go around. <laughs> Sometimes they're good. Let me just say this. Yeah. If you are going to make a stinger for the show, do not add your own special variation of the stinger. Record parody lyrics for a song over the song that involves voted up and killing your family <laughs> or and the something website similar. or something yeah. similar. Don't pause it in the middle. Don't do your own song for some fucking reason. <laughs> Don't put a bunch of airplane and gun noises and say, oh, I wanted to make, I thought it would be funny if it was like a Ukraine. Don't do it over a fucking Biden speech. Just do exactly what the fucking parody is. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, In advance. I look forward to seeing if anyone steps up to the task of helping us craft the voted up segment where today we're looking at a problem from just two episodes ago. USB cables, Dick. Oh, okay. Well, Apple may run afoul of European legislators due to their rumored plans to limit USB-C charging speeds for non-approved cables. According to rumors, only cables which are Apple certified will allow uh, devices to charge at top speeds, while uncertified cables will be recognized by your Apple device and limit your charging speeds as much as 50%. This is the problem! I just want to be able to buy a cord and know that it works. Now I have to get a specific mm. cord for a specific device. This is bullshit. Yeah. They're still mad. Sorry that it's happening to you. They're mad that Europe took away the lightning uh, cord. Yeah. Yeah. So they're trying to pull Bitter. these. They're trying to pull these little tricks. That's USB cables voted up, folks. I wish we could dig up. I, if you had to pick one corpse to dig up and, like, drag around the country, would it be Osama bin Laden or Steve Jobs? Probably Steve I, Jobs. Steve yeah. Jobs. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that guy, man. What an asshole. I was looking at pictures of the new uh, the iMac Pro. It's like a like a tube for tube. no reason. <laughs> yeah, you buy it. It's like a tube computer, and you lift up the tube, and I'm like, Are you sure you were looking at the right a regular thing? computer. Yeah, I know. A tube. It looked like a giant flashlight, but it is actually an iMac Pro, apparently. Did you describe this to an AI? What you're describing? It's me? a, a tube, tube computer. computer. It's a two. It's a circular computer. It looks stupid. A circle computer. Yeah, it's like a big. It's a big cylinder. It's a big cylinder. Like a computer. beer can. Yes, it looks like a big beer can. Like a big Sounds black beer cool, can. Cool, actually. Actually, it would be cool if someone skinned their iMac Pro. It's the monitor on the on the circle. No, no, you gotta hook it into a monitor. Oh, it's just a circular tower. Yeah, the tower. Oh, that's cool though. Sure. I would like that. Thank oh, you. if it was shaped like fucking Final Fantasy, you would love it. <laughs> <laughs> they have all these Evangelion uh, computer parts I kind of want to get. <laughs> They're more expensive than the regular ones, but they got How Evangelion. How can you afford your hair? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You're I not going to be able to afford your hair, Vito. No, the, the audience will pay for my hair. They love me. <laughs> Super right. killer is going to pay for the hair. All right. <laughs> I should make a... Anyway. Uh, YouTube role models. From episode five, all our favorite kids, they love YouTubers. Well, Lavner Education has just opened enrollment for their new YouTube summer camp for kids aged seven to ten. 
at YouTube camp, you'll learn the exciting process of creating a successful vlog for YouTube, identify your audience, create your brand, brainstorm a creative format, and create your own YouTube videos. Sample topics for these 7 to 10 year olds may be Minecraft tutorials, video game walkthroughs, and age of consent. No, no, no. <laughs> Technology unboxing, product reviews, how to videos, fashion videos, travel vlogs, lifestyle tips, and so much more. Unfortunately, uh, children in the program will only be allowed to create game walkthroughs for Minecraft and Roblox, uh. and children who wish to make unboxing videos must bring their items from home. Will Tampons. Be, yeah. Oh, check it out. No. <laughs> Should people be sending their kids to YouTube camp this summer, yeah, Dick? Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, I went to, like, tennis camp and... Did you Sailing did camp. you go to but did, like doesn't tennis camp it's like athleticism did you think like oh I'm gonna be a tennis star or were you like this Me? is fun no it's just fun okay just but these around. kids are going here specifically like I want to be the next Mr Beast and give all my money away and ah, save the world so what and I'm gonna unblind every kid I know and what do you fucking, want them to do go to like fucking comic makers camp I want them to watch comics? the transgender bison and find their truest <laughs> self. These kids are fucked. <laughs> They're going to have to compete for attention. It's like a camp of being an attention. I'm going to make some kids, I've decided. And um, make some make them do what? Well, I'm going to I'm going to craft some children of my own oh. and then I will have children. Like Pinocchio? Yes, I'm going to make <laughs> a little wooden boy, <laughs> Pinocchio. That's pretty good. That's pretty That would be a good <laughs> Why did you create me, Father? We'll get into discussing Here, that in a milk. minute. Drink yeah. this milk, <laughs> Drink body. This milk. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. And uh, you know what? I just want these children. They're going to challenge the status quo. Oh. I'm gonna, I want to make a children's book, I think. Okay, dude. And it, it's what? <laughs> Why? Because I'm going to, I want to like, I want to challenge this, this rhetoric that's out there. I was going to make a children's book and it's just called Johnny is a Boy. And everybody keeps going yeah. to him, and they go, well, you probably want to be a girl, right? He's like, no, I don't think so. And they're like, well, you're like 5% black. Do you want to identify as black? He's like, I think I'm just I a, don't think you should make a children's just book. Just a boy. I don't think I should do anything. <laughs> I think it would be good. I think all these all the people online would have a problem with that. I, honestly, Camelot all the people who have a problem with me doing that, Kennedy. I, I kind of <laughs> wanted to start a kid's YouTube channel just because I know it would piss all those people off so hard. If I'm just like, hi, welcome to my grooming channel where we're going to talk about. You should do you know, you should hire a kid of, actor and yeah. do like a dress as Santa Claus or something and sit the kid on your lap and like <laughs> say all these like jokes that the kid doesn't get. <laughs> right. I should make more content with children to really drive these people insane. Yeah. Uh, okay, they just love funny. kids. All of them. Yeah. I'm going to be a children's entertainer. That's it. That's going to, that's, you know what? I saw the fucking transgender bison. That's what I need to do. Clearly, the world of children's entertainment is where I belong. Are you done? I guess. Is that your, okay. I think I'm done. Vote it up. No, I'll play it again. Vote it up. <laughs> you know, no, it really, really isn't hard. Vote it up. Vote it up. Stop, Stop acting like a retard. You know where to go. Very good. That song doesn't even end like in a way. Have you have you listened to that song? The ending just like drops off. It's terrible. Have I listened to the song <laughs> Let, it, <laughs> Let go. it Go? Is that a real question? But, like, why did Kid latch on to that song? It's a bad song. No, nah, it's a banger. No, it's not. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Do they just like the high notes? Is that it? I think yeah. it's a trash song. So I, you're a songwriter too now? Is I that... am a songwriter. I'm working with a guy. Okay, here's my first problem. It's called not drinking on St. Patrick's Day. It's this little thing that I do called not drinking on St. Patrick's Why Day. Why are you not you drinking do a on St. Patrick's show Day? On Friday night, you got to do bonus episodes on Friday night, and you can't get it's never stopped drunk. you for anything else before. It literally has. I always <laughs> wait until the good show starts. Right. To even start looking, maybe it's just not drinking beer on St. Patrick's Day because the whiskey is not the same. Okay. And this goes out to all of you out there who are working on St. Patrick's Day, who have to deal with kids on St. Patrick's Day, or your wife on St. Patrick's Day, or who are sick on St. Patrick's Day and just can't set the alarm and wake up at nine and start pounding beers mm. like God intended and the Pope intended. Are you going to be pounding beers tonight? 
I don't know. I, that's the problem with not drinking on St. Patrick's Day is when it becomes night, it's kind of passed you by. Mm-hmm. The magic of St. Patrick's Day has passed you by, and now you're just drinking on a Friday night. St. Patrick's Day I is a, a day to drink all day, no matter what. Yeah. And everyone ignores it and doesn't hassle you for it. And if you miss that day... You're just drinking at night, and it's not the it's not the same. You're missed. You missed out on the. Yeah. T- you're fighting the tide, of drunks that are already the why momentum. Don't just, why don't you just get it all out of your system tomorrow? It's not the same. Nobody's out being St. Patrick's Day. You're not even wearing green. I know. I fucked up. Do you want a pinch? Give me. A, I, I <laughs> deserve. I deserve one. Not your hand. Hurt you don't me, get to offer hurt me. Hurt me a- plenty, Daddy. Oh, God, I regret saying the pinch thing. Um, pinch me. 36% of men admit to drink dr- binge drinking on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, so my that's God. So this that's, this problem affects 64% of men. Well, maybe some of those people abstain. That's not because they couldn't manage to, you know, they made yeah, a choice. that's the problem. They're making it worse for everyone. Okay, so they should people be People who are not drinking and making a big deal about it. I think it. St. Patrick's Day should last more than a day. No. <laughs> <laughs> then we would be Ireland. <laughs> they, we could Nobody have, wants to be Ireland. You know, that would be called The Purge. <laughs> Beer sales are up only 174% during St. Patrick's Day. 104%? Over the weekend, 63% of car-related fatalities involve drunk drivers. That could be way higher. That should be way higher. Not enough people drinking on St. Patrick's Day. The Irish should have special uh, privileges on St. Patrick's Day. No, everyone's Irish on St. Patrick's Day. That's uh, that's fair. Uh, 33% of pedestrians killed in car crashes over St. Patrick's Day were intoxicated. With a, were were well, legally drunk. Then they kind of, they went a out third. the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Do they check your blood alcohol level if you get hit by a car? If you get killed by a car? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Just to see who's at fault more? Or? I think it's like, well, let's ask the fucking coroner guy. Yeah, we should in. have him call in. We should Probably have him Standard. Dial. If you get hit with a, by you a just car, just always check blood alcohol level. Well, probably because you ran out into the street. Yeah, like being a drunk too drunk. Moron. Um, it's estimated that a drunk driving death occurs every thirty minutes only during St. Patrick's Day. That's Not practically never. Yeah. Um, I have more stats. People should be drinking more. I do agree. It's so. It should be like it should be really, and it should be one of these holidays that like I don't even see anybody talking about it. I don't see people posting on Twitter like, hey, you know, it's midday. I'm on my 12th, you know. It's the best part. Nobody's being online. Yeah. They're all being in the moment of having to. But they're not. Drinking as much as possible. I don't think they are. Some of them are. What do you think they're doing then? Sitting around, dicking around, watching The Mandalorian. I don't think people are celebrating the Irish as much as they should be. This is a day for you to not Mm. think about Star Wars. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Doesn't I don't even know. the men of this country. It. That's all they're the thinking men about. Men of this country do not need Star Wars today. They do not. Can I think need... about the new uh, Mario movie that's coming out. They don't need. They definitely don't need Mario. Okay. They don't need Matt Walsh and thinking about what's gay. To, who's gay is to suck right. a penis? Right. Or trans anything? It's just going out. They shouldn't worry about Dylan Mulvaney today. Don't worry about Dylan Mulvaney today. Dylan Mulvaney will be there tomorrow. What if she does a bunch of trans shit? All of a sudden, like, shouldn't I comment on it? Not today. Okay. Today, All right. you should be drinking on St. Patrick's Day. Not, not drinking. What if Biden and stumbles while getting off a plane? <laughs> that GIF will be there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> We're all very excited about Russell Brand's brand of aganza or whatever it is launching on I Rumble. Love, I just love that, like, literally, like, every day has just bled into every other day. It's like, what happened this week? Something Star Wars sucked, and Biden did something stupid, and trans people did a thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. What, what kind of thing? But today. What about, what about, yeah. what about kids? Are what the about kids the kid? okay? Yeah, and a kid got groomed, or somebody groomed something. Oh, There's a new pedophile. A new pedophile just dropped. You got to hear this story about this mother. <laughs> She's there. She is shouting at the town council. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because their tits were bitten off by a by a surgeon. A lady was racist, and we caught it on camera today. You're saying today is the one day that we put all that aside. Here's two black people in an elevator cage fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Today is 
a day today without. Today is just a day for drinking, and yeah. here I am at 6.45 in the afternoon with not even beer because I forgot to buy beer, and I was looking for it. I had all day. Mm. I knew you this was going to happen. A time, yeah. I was waiting for 6 o'clock so I could start drinking beer, and what do I have? Exactly one beer. The worst. Why don't you order some beer now? Because Saucy's takes an hour and a half to deliver every time. I've been tricked by that before. Can't they get it from the 7 Eleven? Who's they? Like DoorDash or something. I don't know, Vito. It just doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't work it's like that for me. It's, I don't. Money is no object. <laughs> you have liquor stores. I mean, you got to drive down the mountain. I was too busy recording that fucking bonus episode about Mario that we did. Yeah, it's true. We did talk about Mario. Another thing we should not have done on St. Patrick's Day. Oh well. You see in my eyes. You think you have problems about this buffalo thing? <laughs> it's a bison. The bison. It's a proud, non-binary bison. I went all bison. day without drinking any beer. Yeah. Well, Imagine that, if you can. Ama- <laughs> you really laid it out on the line for us. Thank you, sir. That's my problem. Not drinking Thank on St. Patrick's Day, and I know, even if you're sober, you know what I mean. You know that you missed out Yes. on a great day. It's like being a kid, and you come downstairs, no Christmas presents. Like, wow, fuck, this sucks. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. I mean, I feel bad that I completely spaced on it. That's the thing. I said nobody's talking about it because I didn't even know it was St. Patrick's Day. Good. Nobody's drinking. Nobody's having fun. Uh, I wait, I Asia. have. Wait, I have more stats. Okay. Um, let's see. Ten percent of Americans plan to go out to bars during COVID. Um, oh yeah, after COVID. Before COVID, it was twenty-seven percent, and now. It's 10%. Oh, so our bars so are suffering killed. because of COVID. Yeah. COVID killed the Irish. 15% of people now say they're going to attend private parties, which means they're going to flake on their fucking friends who bought all this stuff. Why didn't you throw a party? Because I'm. <laughs> that's what happens. Everyone just flakes on everything. I come to all the fun things because I have nothing better to do. All right, maybe I will throw one. Yeah. Just for you. When's your birthday? October. October what? 17. Mm, okay. You're not going to remember that. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm excited. What's your problem? My problem, Dick, is one I'm calling reparation retardation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've heard the news, but reparations are hot on the minds of Americans everywhere. Yeah. The idea that slavery, that awful institution yeah. uh, that occurred during a certain dark period in our nation's history yeah. must now be rectified. <laughs> what you bring? We're moving on now, <laughs> to the is this what you mean? This is, this is, I don't know if this is necessarily. <laughs> Vote it on up. Vote it on up. Biggest problem, Dad Show. We did this one as a stinger. We did this. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We've done them all. Anyway, San Francisco's uh, community, whatever the hell, to determine reparation damages. This is a proud committee of several African Americans. Actually, if you head to my Twitter real quick, why don't you? Uh, I, I posted a picture of the people on this committee. Okay. This is a committee that was, uh, you'll see a, a group of African American gentlemen. There you go, right there. So these are the oh, people. There's ladies too. There's ladies too. This is the San Francisco Reparations wow. Committee. Well, if they're talking about giving money away. They picked the right group. <laughs> <laughs> these are the people who have brought forward their recommendations for how San Francisco, a state which never had slaves, should provide reparations to the descendants of the slaves that they did not have. Uh, Never had black slaves. So they had Chinese slaves who uh, built the, I mean, the railroads. San, San Francisco specifically. Why is there so? Why is there a Chinatown there? <laughs> I don't know if slavery is the right word. Let's maybe indentured servitude. Ah! Uh, let's let's. Here's a couple of the things. Now they have a large document of all their all the things they want. <laughs> Okay. They want a lot of things. Black people or this reparations this, this committee? This reparations committee has determined what they think black people should be given. Do they want new seasons of uh, uh, Martin? Yeah. Yeah, that was on there. <laughs> <laughs> we want three new seasons of Martin airing for, and we want free HBO Max for every black person in oh, San Francisco. Wow. Drive a hard bargain. All right. Wanna, I'll Do they just want go- menthols back? <laughs> 
That one, yeah, of course. I could get behind that. Biden needs to unban menthol. Free menthol want, cigarettes every month. Do they want people to stop saying what Pontiac stands for? <laughs> <laughs> probably. That's probably a big one. Poor old. Anyway. It doesn't know. It doesn't work when you say more of the racist thing that I was saying. I just. That's how you get into trouble. All right. I'm going to go through these in no particular order, but I will save the most ridiculous for last. Uh, provide reparation direct payments to black San Franciscans to alleviate the stress and anxiety caused by financial insecurity. So, oh, okay. Black people Sounds pretty good. are uniquely stressed, of course, by financial Probably. burdens. I would be. Let's give them a little bit of money. Offer financial compensation to all black families whose children have suffered the education harms of the public school system. I'm for, I'm for that. You're on that yeah, one. That's I, good. I knew you would like yeah, that I one. I like that one. So you'd be on board with that. Yeah. Convert public housing units into condominiums with a $1 purchase price. $1, get yourself a condo. Oh, just give them the projects? Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's fine. All right. There you go, I black people. Fuck. Projects for free. Black people will also have first choice of any. Do we get to buy them back for less when they ruin them? <laughs> Shut up. Remember that show with the PJs? Uh, yeah, Eddie Murphy? Remember that was PJs. a good show. That guy looked yeah. like Mario, too. After they rip all the copper piping out of the walls, we'll buy them back. Black mm -hmm. people. So you, did, you did additional stuff, I, and you I, made it racist. I'm not saying <laughs> poor white people would rip the copper pipes out as well. And they'd probably do it more efficiently. Black people have first choice of any low-income rental units, and the city should cover any cost differentials. So if they cannot afford public housing, we will pay for it. Oh, they want... They have a favorite low-income housing? Yeah. Well, okay. if we don't give them the $1 condos and we have to rely on the low-income housing, we will. the city <laughs> yeah, the city will, of course, pay for that. Okay, that's fine. All right. Finance a comprehensive debt forgiveness program that clears all educational personal credit card man payday loan debt. Credit cards? They want to wipe out all debt for all black uh, Americans in the San Francisco ah. area. So black uh, people, a rough one, run folks. out and get yourself a car now. Start charging it up now. Finance it as whatever crazy terms you want, because if this goes through, that car Can is black free. people buy me stuff, and then like we, I'll do all the paperwork. Think... You just buy me like <laughs> some stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Buy me Bitcoin. If any machines. black people are listening to this show, which at this point I highly doubt, but if there are, nah, there are. I hope so, for the love of God. Please finance some car loans for me and Dick. Because once once the reparations go through, it's all going to be free. Who cares? Well, let's, let's get to get let's get together and work it out, right? Yeah. Let's, let's team get, up. Let's get something going let's here. Let's team up and take on whomever is orchestrating this bank bailout. Yeah. Whoever it may be. Well, I think that they can help us out because if uh, this goes through, we will supplement African American income of lower income households to reflect the area median income annually for the next 250 years. <laughs> that would be an annual <laughs> income of $97,000 a year for every black person. So UBI, in the city. UBI yeah. the matches the median the income. Median, it's just the median. It's only ninety seven thousand per person for the next two hundred and fifty well, I mean, years. Infinity if it's two hundred and fifty years. Yeah, but let's be clear. How we, long was two hundred and fifty years ago? Seventeen fifty. Uh, so right. before the country before, started. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, so we're giving them a couple extra years. I like that one. That's okay. I'm okay with that. All right, one. ninety-seven thousand dollars a year. But let's be clear. I don't think you know black people should have to wait to get their ninety-seven thousand. So probably the most important thing. Yeah. Well, we're gonna give them in addition a one-time lump sum payment of five million dollars to every eligible person. Just five million to start don't you off. Don't mention menthols at all. I, I I don't know how menthols got left off. Really. We can use that money to lobby Congress to legalize menthols again. Five million dollars for each eligible person. I should have got the stats, but I leave someone calculated that as what seventy about, bajillion dollars. In what payments. about a black guy in Mario? Can we get that? We could. I feel like that black would be a, toad. That would be a fair. Yeah, I think we need a black toad. We've talked about this on the Mario bonus episode. Yeah, I feel like that might be. Maybe we can't give. You did an impression of him for like three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say Black Toad is a colorful individual who goes, Hey, Mario! <laughs> you can't say it! <laughs> <that. laughs> you can't say that! It's a colorful, not color uh -huh. whatever. Point is, Dick, I think we can all recognize that these requests are perhaps 
a bit silly. Perhaps there's not enough money to possibly pay for the ridiculous things that these brave Why? individuals there's are asking money. for. There's money. Just there's... give it to black people. No. Would you rather black people or Zelensky have the money? Black people. Easy. How much should we give to Zelensky? Because I don't even think it adds. Infinity. It's not infinity. (laughs) Billions. Uh, Billions. Okay. Uh, It'll be, by the time we're done, it'll be $5 trillion. I guarantee you. All right. Let's just give five million every black person then. Yeah. How many black people are there in San Francisco? I don't know. There was a, I should have brought up that. A thousand? Yeah. A million? Something like that. Uh, Yeah. Should have brought. We could do that. Well, Dick, I mean. Well, debt finance. Finance it. Let's let's just compare it to another uh, form of reparations. Welfare? No. Uh, which I mean, they think they, they are they're getting that. You can't deny that. There, there are some programs. Yeah, we've been. Uh, Democrats have we've been, tried reparations in various forms. We, it exists. It Democrats exists. have been uh, refinancing the black vote for like sixty years. They yeah. have to keep buying. They have to keep refinancing. Like, well, we bought the black vote uh, sixty years ago. And it's now not we working gotta, anymore. No, no FDR. The yeah. first when the when the black vote tipped, it was FDR's. Welfare, and yeah. then we hit the '60s, and black people were like, "Well, actually, we're, that didn't really help us." So LBJ said, uh, "Additional welfare." Yeah, he said, "All right, all right, you refinance, we'll pick it down." And now, and then uh, Obama came and said, uh, "Healthcare and education." They're like, mm, "That's kind of okay." We kind of want something that's just for us. Now Biden's coming in. Reparations. Reparations. It's the same thing. You got to keep buying those votes. Well, I just don't understand why the black community is uh, expecting five million dollars a person. Because for comparison, there were the Japanese Americans who suffered in internment camps during World War II, who Reagan famously did give reparations to. Dick, do you know how much Reagan gave to every person who uh, was a prisoner of these internment camps? Like 20 (laughs) dara? Pretty close. (laughs) 20,000 durer. $20,000? Which with inflation is about 50,000 durer. Which is not pretty nearly good. five a million a derriver. It's pretty good though. Twenty thousand is not grand. bad. Uh, but let's be clear: those were people who directly suffered in the camps. Who were f- in the camps? These are people who suffering though. It wasn't f- the best. <laughs> you know, you'd probably prefer not to be there. The people we're proposing to give the yeah. money to are people whose ancestors hundreds of years ago. <sighs> didn't have a great time. And I get it. And it wasn't a great time. But you're probably doing pretty okay now. You live in America, the greatest country on earth. You got free health care. You got welfare. You got, you know, it seems a little silly to go, I want $5 million. Now, do you know but, how. But why, though? Like, banks get infinity money. <laughs> so why not just give a bunch to black people? Well, like, I, I, I really don't understand it. Like there's no there's no chance that well, we're going to give get... a bunch to white people then. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> because white people because white people just sit around watching football and talking about my wife. That's yeah. why black people will go out and make music. Enact chain. No. They will go out and demand attention. We have grievances. We don't like the way we're being treated. Yeah. Give us 5 million bucks. And white people will sit around going what is a woman's penis? Buy my chocolate, pe- buy my chocolate penis or my chocolate woman's penis. The most important thing in life is your wife and your relationship with Jesus Christ. Like, okay, I mean, so you're good with nothing? Fine. So you're saying everyone deserves reparations if they ask for it. No, them. I'm saying black people will get it. I don't so think they're going to get board. it. I don't think they're going to get it. Okay. I think this is a pl- <laughs> I think Why do you not think they're going to get it? <laughs> they might get a little something, but they're not going to get $5 million. Do you know how much welfare costs? $5 million is nothing. Five What's the million, price tag on this? $5 million per person? Well, that's the thing is they can't even figure it out because... Did they, you learn anything from your anchoring problem? They're know, anchoring at $5 million. Anchoring. So what sounds anchoring. fair now? A million. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Oof. but as we discussed black guys the almost got effect, one over on us if you a- <laughs> if you anchor too high as I think they have at 5 million I don't know all those plus, things sounded fine plus to eliminate me eliminate all our debts Plus, give us money because our kids got free school, but it sucked. It did suck. <laughs> All I know is that they asked them, <laughs> how did you come to the number of $5 million 
And Chairman Eric McDonald said, well, there wasn't a math formula, but it was a journey Racist for the question. committee towards Racist what question. could represent a significant enough investment in families to put them on this path to economic well-being, growth, and fatality, that chattel slavery and the policies that flowed from it destroy it. So, chattel slavery. Yeah, I think they just kind of pulled a number out of their ass and... No shit. That's where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, shouldn't you calculate? Like, all right, it depends on like how long that guy was in slavery and how many kids he had and what each kid gets. Why? And it's, it's the just, PPP loans didn't calculate <laughs> shit. There's like, I don't know, two and a half months. Go get wh- black people didn't get that shit. <laughs> white people did. <laughs> If, well, white people didn't get five million in people. I mean, some the tarp people bailouts did. were like what one and a half trillion. Black yeah. people didn't get that money. All right, you're Fucking, right. Fucking uh, other time, well, white people didn't get it either. Asian people didn't get it. All I know got is that who got that money? If every black person, where the fuck is my money? That's what I want to know. Where the fuck is my money? I would rather black people have it than anybody else because at least they're gonna have fun with it. At least they'll have fun. I, I, I mean, yeah, I kind of want to see what the world looks like when every black person gets $5 million. Oh, oh you can't imagine it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gonna, I'll be so I'm fucking not tell dazzled. You what I, I cannot wow, tell you what I, I can't I, believe that this is looking I'm like this. I'm not going to talk about what I imagine, all right? It's not that kind of show. Maybe you in the comments could tell us whatever you want. Not on YouTube comments. <laughs> <laughs> Send us a voicemail. Do you really think? Do you, are you really anti reparations? I'm pro it. Give these give fucking black people the money before they figure out how to give it to Zelensky <laughs> or whomever else. Banks are still going to get a cut. They're going to get a good cut. I think they're, they're paying back their credit cards to elevate the plight of the black American without just handing them a bunch of money <laughs> and letting them go wild. What, what's better than money? What do you want for Christmas? A fucking <laughs> a plight? A lecture on I do think a job? They should build more low-income housing. They should have more job opportunities and places. What do you mean programs. they should build more ho- in low-income housing? The white people. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll get right. Let me see if my wife will Mexicans. let me get on there. The big game's coming up. I don't even know how to argue this one. Why are you anti-reparations? Because it's th- not costing you anything. It, <laughs> I think in the long run, it will cost me something. Huh. Why? Because the be- <laughs> why? Because the math doesn't work out economically. You're going to bankrupt the city of San Francisco. You're going to bankrupt every other city that tries to do this, and then you're going to print more money, and then the rampant inflation is going to destroy the value of the dollar. And meanwhile, all the black people are going to be running around. <laughs> And they're what? sky cars. Oh, so you're jealous. <laughs> you're jealous, jealous that the black people are going to get something <laughs> and then <laughs> something's going to be bankrupt, whatever that is, and then you won't have any free money. Is that it? I think it's unfair that black people get $5 million. And I, I think the Irish and the Italians, we've suffered as well. Oh, you I know, see. No Irish, I need, see. no Irish need apply. Just be black. I honestly, if I if I could be black and get five million dollars, I'd be into There's it. There's gonna be a rise on Italian on black crime <laughs> outside the reparations office. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Give me that money. I think you're gonna see a rise in people just running in and marrying the first black woman they can find. It's going, baby, I love you so much. You're so beautiful. Help me start a business. Help me start a business. <laughs> yeah, with your five million dollars. <laughs> it's not five million bucks though. It's the median wage. Well, right. you, no, you get a five million lump sum, and then you get ninety-seven. Oh, you get five a million lump sum. Yes, a one-time lump sum payment of five million dollars to every eligible person. That's what we've been arguing about this whole time. Well, we do that with uh, Dubai. Okay, they get they get like they get like ninety thousand a year from uh, from basically from us for letting them have their oil. shithole with, of oil that we should just take and murder them. <laughs> <laughs> we did it to black people. So why do we let them have their <laughs> gay little country? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Dick makes everything so simple. It's, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, just give it to him. Also, I mean, we, why not just kill everyone at Dubai and take all their oil? Yeah. yeah nice tower. <laughs> it would be a shame if someone would fly a big plane into it. Oh, shit. Whoops. We put little guys on there going, USA, USA, USA. Sometimes I wish I could live in your world, Mr. Masterson, where everything just There's makes, no sadness. Everything just makes perfect There's sense. There's no kind of existential. <laughs> What did I do? How could I do this? I wanted to do good. Everything makes sense from this side. Uh, 
You're like, yeah, we just, you know, why not just give the black people all the money? Let's see what happens. It'll be funny. Uh, I think they should have it. Good. I hope they do. I hope. I'm sure. I think five million is low. Good. If I'd have known, what let's a bunch give, of yeah, let's what give a bunch a, of suckers. Let's the give Democrats aren't giving them enough money. A hundred million dollars. I would have given them six million. If I was, I think every black person should get to be president for ten minutes and pass as many laws as they can. <laughs> Until, now you're talking. Yeah, there you you go. gotta start thinking. You gotta start thinking fourth dimensionally here, Vito. Okay. We're in a surrealist world. I feel like this Your is antiquated <laughs> ideas of right and wrong and governance and society. They don't hold up. Okay. I feel like this is a. These are silly demands. I feel like the people making the demands are insane. And uh, <laughs> Mr. Masterson clearly disagrees and thinks. Okay, well, well let's just I hope you're real. I hope you're real conflicted about it when it gets taken out of your taxes. What? Exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, reparation <laughs> retardation is my problem. Dick, go ahead. Okay, my problem is washing your hands when you have long sleeves on. Yeah. Or like a jacket. Right. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> what is this fucking show, man? Vito. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Vito, you know. Yeah. You got to wash. You can pull them up, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, you have long. Do you have long sleeves on right uh, now? Not no, right short. now, but I know what you're talking about. Jacket or long sleeves or a sweatshirt, a hoodie. And you got to pull them up. First of all, you're like, I pull these up and I'm going to stretch the armholes all out. Uh, but I gotta do yeah, this to wash my. Sweater. What am I gonna not wash my hands? I got piss on my hands. I gotta wash. Right. I should wash my hands because of COVID. I gotta wash my hands. Pull them up. Oh great! I don't want to pull them up too far because it will mess up the armholes. Right. So I, now I get in there. Uh oh, one slipped. Well, I already got my hands all wet. No, you're gonna get a wet so sleeve. I can try to get it like you're gonna I get a wet stretch, sleeve. I can stretch one out, but then the other one slips. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> now I got two sleeves down. I can do like this, yeah. like a kind of sissy hand wash right, here, right. but it doesn't matter because even if one, if a little drop gets on, it's the same as if they're all wet. Sure. So you just say, fuck it. Wash my hands like normal. Get my fucking <laughs> sleeves all wet. Now my sleeves are sticky. <laughs> Our fucking water sticky. And then they get hard. I can't dry them off. And then they get kind of like scratchy. <laughs> Washing your hands. Huh? Every time. Washing your hands with long sleeves. <laughs> Why don't you take your jacket off before you want to do anything? Because I don't get piss on my jacket, you idiot. Take it off before you piss. But I don't plan on getting piss on I my hands. I you take your shirt off when you piss. When I, t I don't take my shirt off when I piss. I take my shirt off when I take a shit. What's the difference? Between piss and shit? Yeah, but like why, <laughs> well, why does do one require your shirt to be off? Because I don't want... Any encumbrances while I'm taking a shit. I don't want my shirt to s get what? piss on How? it. I don't. I don't want my shirt to get poop or splash up water on it. So then you should take it off during pissing as well. Because I'm pissing out in the fucking urinals, you idiot. What do you mean take my you shirt off? Splash back. It's piss. It will dry. I can hike my shirt well, up out of the dry, way. Then why are you washing your hands? Because they have piss all over them. I don't want a bunch of dirty <laughs> piss all. I don't want to smell like piss <laughs> wherever I go. <laughs> Why would I take my shirt off when I take you, a why piss? Why don't you get some wet naps and just wash your hands my that way? You get some napkins or something. You're saying you're saying everyone should carry around wet wipes? Is it the wipe? mere act of after you pissed, pulling up your sleeve, getting piss on the sleeve anyway? Yeah, but you have to use your other fingers that don't have piss. You know where the piss is. You've identified it. Uh-oh. These right are the there. piss fingers. These are the piss fingers. So I'm going to pull it up. The sleeves like this. Not. Oh, I hope that holds. I hope that holds. <laughs> There should, be a little, uh, there should be a little guy at the at the hand washing station to pull them up for you. Hmm. Bring back bathroom attendants. Maybe. Or wash way. your hands so you can hold your arms stretched out completely yeah. so the sleeves don't roll what down. What if you could put your hands in like a little chamber that wa you know, and that snaps around your wrist and then it No, because it will be broken. Yeah, that's It true. will be fucked up. Like, uh, that would be cool, what you're saying, like a thing yeah. where you put your hands a in chamber. and it, it locks... Yeah. It's hermetically sealed around your wrist and then jets oh God. water that's oh God. hot and nice and yeah. soap and, and then like dries like your hands Yeah, and then t you take your hands out and they're brand new. But some kid with a jackknife would destroy it day one. Some white guy who's angry about his reparations <laughs> would come in. <laughs> Give me your five Where's million my bucks. my Irish reparations? All right, washing your hands is the problem. Washing your day. hands with Washing your sleeves. hands, got it. With long you don't sleeves like to on. wash your hands. No, I do like it actually. Oh, That's really? why it because it's nice and warm. Sometimes it's cold. What kind of soap do you use? Whatever is there. 
But in your home, do you have like a nice like a I have soap? I have the um, Irish Spring. Oh, that's beautiful. My and people. my girlfriend has uh, soap Black that spring. squirts out of it, and not the kind that foams. She mm. has like the goo, and I really hate it. You gotta get that like buttercream, whatever soap. It's all rich and buttery, whatever. What's that? I think you just put butter in your soap dispenser. <laughs> <and> the- <laughs> Butter and heavy cream. Just you put butter it in and there heavy cream. And wash your hands with that. You dumb channel. idiot. Oh God! <laughs> I didn't even get to the worst part. What's the What's the when worst part? Squirt, when you squirt when it's jammed. This is still going. When it's oh, jammed the soap, and yeah. you squirt the soap on your sleeve. Oh like, my God! All right, so Dick brought in another. I might as well. Fucking <laughs> I might as well problem. just go home yeah. and switch the shirt. It's got soap all over it. And God forbid you're wiping your hands when you got finger pain or any other <laughs> fucking brilliant problems. Vito, that's a way better problem than reparations. reparations. Yeah, you're right. Good point. Well, Dick, I got one more problem for you. And I'll preface this one with a news story. Okay. The Raspberry Rally Girl Scouts cookie, a limited edition raspberry flavored version of the beloved Thin Mint, has sold out in less than a day. The cookie proved to be more popular than anticipated, says the Girl Scouts. Quickly, this raspberry cookie has ended up on the resale market listed for as much as $30, where the typical box of Girl Scout cookies is about five or six dollars a box. Resale? Yeah, really, yeah. So they're five resell- they're normally five bucks, and people are reselling them for thirty dollars, maybe even more. Wow. Got these raspberry cookies. Okay. And the oh, girls, my problem is dumb, though, but oh, expensive cookies. I haven't even cookies. gotten to my fucking problem. Okay. Retarded. Let me do this. <laughs> All right. The Girl Scouts issued a statement saying, when cookies are purchased through a third-party seller, Girl Scout troops are deprived of proceeds that fund crucial programming throughout the year. Plus, unauthorized sales can erode the Girl Scouts' good cookie name. The Girl Scouts of the USA, your local Girl Scout council, and your, our licensed cookie bakers cannot guarantee the freshness or integrity of cookies bought through an authorized site and say customers should use the cookie finder on the Scouts' website. Uh, my problem is uh, free market haters. Free market haters. Fuck the Girl Scouts. This is an important learning opportunity yeah. for these little bitches. Oh. If you make a thing, there's a certain thing called supply and a certain thing called demand. There was great demand for your cookie. You did mm-hmm. not provide the supply necessary to fulfill that demand. Therefore, a secondary market has been created for your commodity. And you, as the seller, should go. Well, that's the free market at work. How beautiful is that? How beautiful that we created something that is so popular and we encourage everyone. Well, they can't say go, that. Uh, why? Because they got to say, like, hey, everybody, stop doing what you're doing. Just no. Just eat the cookies. Don't. No. <laughs> it, I get this shit all the time where people go, I'm so tired of scalpers doing this and I can't believe. You. Yes. Yeah, you me. do it. Yes. <laughs> and you steal magic cards. I'm not stealing magic <laughs> cards. That's a completely different fucking thing. Okay. All right. For instance, when the analog pocket video game console was announced, I said, this is going to be a very popular item. Okay. So I purchased two of them, one for myself and one to resell. This was a smart thing I did. Yeah. I correctly anticipated the supply and demand of the market, and I capitalized upon it and made money. And I had a friend where I went, yeah, you know, I bought one for myself and one to sell. He went, what is wrong with you? (laughs) And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I didn't know you were one of these filthy scalpers. I went, buddy, I'm the exact same as any other man participating in the market. The market dictates the prices, not I. Huh. What everyone should buy according to their means, and the only people allowed to make profit are the Targets and Walmarts of the world. What is wrong with the small boutique seller flipping things for a profit? Well, because it's like cookies. So they should have made more cookies. If, you don't have to buy the cookies. Should not the people to be blamed be the consumer creating a frenzy for a stupid raspberry fucking cookie? Yeah, when yeah. you can just go to the store and buy a raspberry cookie and it probably tastes just the fucking same. Okay? Me yes, taking advantage yes, of people's yes. needless desire for a stupid consumer item that no one needs and is not crucial. I will say yeah, this. When, yeah. they, when they made it illegal to, like, 
re, you know, uh, scalp like hand sanitizer when yeah, COVID was, was going on. No, that I kind of understand. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you serious? That's a crucial item, though. That's like something that people generic ge- actually needed for their. You are health. such a piece of shit. <laughs> so you're you. buying you're buying as many video games and as you can buy, and then Pokemon else. cards yeah. and cookies. But hand sanitizer, right, is totally off limits for it's hoarding. Not totally off limits, but if there is a crucial short, like if somebody was hoarding diabetes medication, you would say this is a problem. Why didn't they make more diabetes medicine then? Maybe there's just a problem with the supply chains and the pipeline. How is it different than fucking it's a little cookies? Different because people's lives actually depend on it. Not good ones. <laughs> Why not good ones? Because they didn't think ahead and buy their fucking diabetes medicine. So obviously their lives were not worth it. I think that there can be. Some Certain How can you have fucking price controls on? Uh, this is such a. <laughs> this is exactly how you get buffalo bison. Yeah. <laughs> With being, the wrong gender, gendered. because you start drawing. You you know what's right. You yeah. know what's right. Right. Which is cookies. Buy and sell, yeah. go on eBay. Fuck you. Right. But then as soon as somebody makes you feel bad in any way, like oh, well, it's their lives are on the line. <laughs> then it's. Uh, fascism. It's a little Put a gun to that guy's head. It's a little different. It's a take little Take that different. guy's hands. It's not different at all. It's the same market <laughs> factors and dynamics okay, at play. The difference is that no one's life is hinging on a cookie or a game system. Where How do you crucial know? medical supplies. <laughs> Come on. How do you know? <laughs> maybe you need maybe you need fifty dollars. Maybe you need Okay, well if you could make the argument to me that you need If I don't need- buy Pac-Man, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Fine, then I'll buy you one, okay? If you could make that argument. But let's go. <laughs> I just did. All right, you can have my analog <laughs> pocket. Point is that I'm not even talking about these very rare exceptions. I'm saying that most of the things people complain about are, oh, this thing sold out. And yeah. It's not fair to the scalpers. It's always the fault of the company producing the item. They could have made more. They didn't. That's their fault for not correctly recognizing the demand for their product. And I can't these, fucking believe you said that shit about hand sanitizer. Go get shamed. alcohol then. If you want, if you're so worried about okay. your about your hands being sanitized, sanitize them with some vodka. Sanitize them with some vodka, or you know what? Open up your pocketbook. You got a car that could buy a lot of hand. I mean, he has a price. Suck his cock. No, he bought all the hand sanitizer in the world. Find your one of your friends to blow him. <laughs> I mean, I agree. It's not like the end of the world. You can buy the hand sanitizer, you know? I think you could even scalp those items within reason. Yeah. I think it was starting to get, like, kind of out of control, and there was a public health crisis. That, God damn it. Why did this become a COVID problem? Because you made it. <laughs> you are picking on the Girl Scout people. Well, like, not, you're better than them. No, but I lo- you're pro. I lose because this became a COVID problem. <laughs> and I can't win one of those. All you have to say is hoarding's fine. Hoarding is, I do. No matter what. No. Well, what about medicine? That's hoarded. By whom? By drug companies. Yeah, well, that's a whole other fucking thing. They shouldn't do that either. (sighs) I mean, that's 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 a whole other pipeline. Okay. Look, I think if an item is crucial to the survival of a human being. Then scalp, you can make the argument. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You can make the argument that it is morally improper to try and make an obscene amount of profit off it, which, yes, the drug companies do, and you know you disagree with that. Uh, do you like when drug companies charge an arm and a leg for life saving saving medication? I think they can only do that because the government protects their patents. Mm. Like, because, like, if patent law didn't, didn't exist... Everybody would just make whatever. Then you would make penicillin, and I would go like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm going to do that. And you'd be like, oh, yeah, but I worked all this, I spent all this time making this so I could make money. And I said, well, fuck you, it helps people. Right. So why is there, why is why does patent law exist? It's complicated. Mm-hmm. Well, you have to fund the development of the drug, and why would you develop the drug if you can't make recoup your because investment it's in its development? it's very complicated to do. Like, the process of making it is so complicated, it takes a lot of capital yeah, but once in, it's been invented, make. you spend all the money developing it, and then Dick and Harry just make their own generic version, you see none of the money. So you're worried about pharmaceutical companies not making enough money? Pharmaceutical companies, I think, have the right to recoup whatever they invested in developing the drug. Why? 
Because they spent the money. To th- if I spend all my money figuring out how to make a flying car, and yeah. then Ford goes, cool, we're going to make the exact oh, same thing. Oh, you put thing. a propeller on that car? Wow, what a fucking amazing invention. But do you I can't just want every large that. company to take any small invention, and then they can just have it? This, yeah, because the this process- This is the intellectual property argument again. No, it's this. The process of invention is random- is, is totally by chance at this point. Like, generating new molecules and seeing how they become drugs mm-hmm. is just a computer doing it. And then going through endless bureaucracy to get it approved and, like, see how it interacts and what it interacts with. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no, like, spark of inspiration to it that would, re- that would, uh, that would, uh, that would warrant, like, this massive profit. Like, sure. that would, oh, whatever. Anyway, the Girl Scout cookies are currently available on eBay for $30 a box. Yeah. And the Girl Scouts would like you to purchase them from the Girl Scouts. <laughs> what a show, Dick. <laughs> All right. What a show. What are our problems? Our problems are... What are our problems? My problems Reparation. are... Reparation. Reparation retardation. Okay. You got to do, do the rhyme. Reparation retardation. Sorry. Boom. My problems are washing your hands with long sleeves Great and one. not drinking on St. Patrick's Day, which I obviously am. And my last problem is free market haters. Free market haters. A problem which has nothing to do with COVID or drug companies or anything. Dick just hijacked it to force a win for himself. Well, Regardle- I agree regardless, with you. reparations should win. And Dick's argument that we should give black people $5 million a piece because it would be funny, which is his argument for everything. No, that I don't agree with you on. It wouldn't I, be I, funny? No, uh, I think it would be funny, but I do think <laughs> I do think they deserve it. How much do they deserve exactly? More than $5 million. Okay. Um, Why? Well, because um, they're black. <laughs> Is that not do what you, they... Do you think that the world will be, like, like if you put it on a timeline, after giving every black person $5 million, do you think it's going to be a better world? Well, no, we'll have to refinance it again. Mm. Like, we'll have to do... In 40 years, we'll have to do... Another $5 million or No, probably trillion by then. Okay. We'll have to be giving Guys, what a them, show we've had here today. Uh, I, I do agree with you on the, the free market haters. Yeah. But I, I also think that... Um, Hoarding is an effective method of price control. I think you can hoard within reason. Yeah, okay. I agree with you more than you do. I agree with your problem more than you. I know. You are. You are arguing for even an extreme free market, no matter what. Like, imagine if a woman had a pussy that everybody wanted. I think there can (laughs) be. I always believe there could be, you know, there's effective free market regulation that still contributes to a healthy free market. Like what? Like property? Like, I can't sell poison without labeling it poison. Well, it's called uh, shut Adderall. Up, shut you, up. Shut what, up. <laughs> what do you mean? You Stop can't. Twist. It's called McDonald's. It's literally fucking liquor. Alcohol, it's all liquor. poison. Yeah. All the, all, you, just don't, you don't want us to have like cocaine risks. and fentanyl. I think I think if it was labeled, then that would be fine. You think if somebody was trying to sell poison, like they would, what would be the outcome of that? They would go from town to town, like, hey, everybody have a delicious soft drink, and then everyone would drink it and be dead, and they'd be like, my plan's going, <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, maybe. It'd be, uh, That's just a so, serial killer. Like, they could still do that. <laughs> I've seen YouTube prank videos. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you would have a YouTube pranker out there. If there was no repercussions to selling people poison, you would yeah, absolutely would have a guy day. on YouTube who's like, hey, <laughs> hey, drink this, dude. And then a guy would die, and he would go, oh, another awesome prank from the prank master. This one shit himself. Yeah. Uh, I, well, I hear that argument all the time that, well, we have to have regulation or else you could sell poison. And I'm like, I don't really know anyone who's going around wanting to sell poison. Because of the regulations. <laughs> I don't think so. I think if regulations <laughs> didn't exist, I would probably sell poison just for fun. Like, we don't have a law against shoving a baseball bat up your ass. So if the government said, we have a, we thank God we have a law against shoving baseball bats up your ass, or else everyone would be going around with baseball bats up their ass. It's a little more complicated than that. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've got all our problems, and if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to vote on the problems at biggestproblem.show. And if you want more exciting problems, check out our latest bonus episode, The Biggest Problem in Mario, 
currently available at Biggest Problem That Show, or at least it will be. Yeah, uh, in very a few soon. days after you hear this. Okay, here we go. Patreon.com slash Biggest Problem. Do you actually that- know that April O'Neil was originally going to be based on this guy's girlfriend? Blah, 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 blah. Nobody gives a shit about the comics. Mm. Nobody cares. That's not true. They care about the cartoon. They care about the toys. They care about the video game. People like Nobody the gives a fuck about the comics. Did they? Did if they? you pretend you I give do. a shit about the comics, you're being a disingenuous piece of shit. I never saw them. I only knew fuck the cartoon. Off. I had the comics as a kid. Fuck Are they good? Yeah. Uh, they're pretty cool. Do they have like Baxter Stockman in them? Yeah, he's in the like second issue. Do they have Krang in them? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Although, I didn't know that. Uh, it's funny. I was like reading like some of the correspondence between those guys and the like cartoon makers, and they're like, "Yeah, we just got back the stills of what Krang's robot body looks like, and he looks like a big stupid fat guy. <laughs> Can you guys like change that?" Yeah. And they're like, "Yeah, yeah, we'll change that." He's like, "So they didn't change it, and now Krang stuck as a big stupid fat guy." He was a fat guy. No, Krang, because he's a wait, brain. The brain, but the thing he's in, the thing that he walks around oh, as. Oh, instead of that little thing that, like, with the arms. It's the big, the guy with the like visor. Yeah, the whatever. laser beams. They didn't like that. No, I, I also hated that as a kid. I was like, this thing looks stupid as hell. <sighs> oh, what did you want him to be in? I don't know, like a crazy, scary robot man. Is that Not what like he's in the comics? Doofus, I forget. I, I think oh. in the comics he's just always a brain. I don't know if he. He probably oh. had a metal walker at one point. Did Shredder? Build him his body in the comics. Shredder was, that was no. dumb. Shredder was not a technological guy. In he the was comics. always like, I get back to work on my body. In the comic, Shredder was just a Japanese guy who died in the first issue, and then they're like, oh shit. Well, I guess we got to bring oh, him back. Oh really? Yeah. That. Oh. And then they figured out a way to bring him back or whatever. Thank God. Also, you know the biggest <laughs> difference between the cartoons and the comics? Yeah. Is uh, in the cartoons. Splinter used to be a human being, right? Yeah. He got turned into a rat. Yeah, that's kind of weird. No, that was actually, I think, better, because in the comics, he was a rat who lived in Japan with a, <laughs> a kung fu master, and he would watch his kung fu master all day, and he was like that's a kung fu That's what happened in the rat. movies. In the movies, that <laughs> happened, and everyone's like, what the fuck? And then he was like, yeah, and then he mutated, <laughs> but he already knew kung fu as a rat, and you're like, well, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Why would a rat know kung fu? Yeah, you're right. The cartoon version is better. Yeah, the cartoon version is better that it was like a guy who knew kung fu, and then he got mutated into a rat. But it doesn't make sense with the mutant. Mutagen to yeah, reverse, like, mutate. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Well, it's kind of weird if the turtles and Splinter uh, mutated at the exact same time. And they're young, and he's, like, an old I man. guess he's just because he's an older old rat, rat that he's, like, their master now. But They like, only live, like, three years, though, don't they? Turtles or rat? rats? Yeah, rats, turtles that's true. So he's probably only three years old. It doesn't really work. Anyway, and there's a new comic right now that everybody loves called The Last Ronin, where only one Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle is left alive. Which one? I'm not going to spoil that. Is it Leonardo? I'm not going to spoil it. I just told you. Is it Donatello? It's one of the four. You can keep guessing all four. Is it Leonardo? (laughs) I'm not telling you, but it's a very popular comic right now. People like the comics. I need to read the rest of The Last Ronin. Huh. Is, uh... Uh. It's Leonardo, okay? Is that what you want to hear? Okay, it's Leonardo. I knew it. It's not Leonardo. Uh, shit! <laughs> hey, Vito. This is Hi. a bit of a nerdy problem, but my uh, my problem this week is Star Wars video games not letting you fucking cut off people's limbs. Yes. Oh, sure. You want to cut off robots' limbs? You want to di- slice and dice monsters and shit? Have fun. Go, go nuts, kid. You want to chop off a stormtrooper's head? Fuck you. You want to uh, cut a fucking stormtrooper in half? That sucks. Fuck yeah. you. Only robots, bitch. Disney. 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 Yeah. Fuck, man. I don't even like Star Wars like that. The fucking old games are just cool. There's some games you can I don't keep even like Star Wars like cool. that. I like it as so a friend. <laughs> Can't you do that now? I think there was an official decision from Disney. No more lightsaber decapitations across the entire franchise. That sucks. And no more merchandise of Slave Leia. Ugh. You're not allowed to make Slave Leia action figures. I didn't think figures. that was very hot. Leia in that slave outfit. It's like, eh, whatever. Mid. There was like a... She's mid at best. There was one like Playboy photo shoot where she wore it, and it was like pretty good. Um, I think Star Wars lightsabers got fucked up. Like, in the first three Star Wars, it's kind of not clear what they are. 
Because it's like, okay, you know, the original right? trilogy you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. The original three. Yeah. And then it turned into like, they're just like laser beams. Right. And going, right? But it was in the first one because the special effects weren't all dialed in. So there was like the blade size was all weird. Right. And then he hit him and he disappeared. It's <laughs> so, like, wow, I don't know what kind of weapon that is. <laughs> it seems make, like really. Does it make people disappear when you yeah, hit them? Yeah, but it was like, a, it was like a wielding a chainsaw. I was like, oh, shit. All right. Yeah, the light the lightsaber doesn't really make any sense. In and now they're context. like, and that's dumb. That thing. Have you dumb. seen all the videos of the forbidden lightsaber technique? Yeah, I've seen that. GIF. Yeah, where it's just like, all right, if two blades are stuck together, just turn yours off real quick. Go through his blade. Yeah. Then turn it back on and it's immediately two black guys impale doing him. It. Black guys are good at uh, they like they like making weird fight videos. That's what I mean. They treat it. They start treating it like a flashlight, yeah. but a laser beam. Yeah. That's dumb. Star Wars sucks. I, I agree. I fucking hate Star Wars right now. It's so shitty. It's like, when you have something that's good, just stop. Just stop. Yeah. Don't make any more. Yeah. Or make so much. Or that... make a bl- all black version of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, uh, uh, like Lord of the Rings. Like Blackula? Yeah, like Blackula. But Star Wars? Yeah. Just do that. Death, if they, if they the made Death Star, <laughs> <laughs> dude, if they made an all black uh, Star Wars movie, we would absolutely go see it. It would be hilarious. Uh, yeah, but they can't because of these fucking laws. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Uh, what's up, guys? Um, I just watched that No Jumper interview. Uh, I don't think it was as bad as you guys made it out to be. To be I honest thought it was you. good. I thought it was okay. Um, <laughs> okay. I guess though, it's just interesting how it's all developed so far. I thought it was okay. Uh, just a quick question. What was up with that girl's that girl on on the podcast you had that said nothing at all? Um, and then also, uh, what is Adam twenty two now a pedophile? Like, what, what do you what did you do? What did you do? How did you? What did you do to him? Why did you? I, I didn't do anything to him. Him into a yeah, pedophile. I retroactively turned him into a pedophile twenty years ago <laughs> using the power of my doctor pedophile strange. Yeah, I don't know. So that girl who Destiny was with is like some Instagram model. I think he's banging or something. I hope so. There'd be no other reason. Yeah, everybody was commenting. They're like, why is that bitch not saying anything? It's like, I don't know. We just why had are a- you at? Uh, be careful. Don't fucking start asking that question. She'll start talking. She, we had an empty seat and it was literally like, well, we can have no one sit there. We can have her sit there and say nothing. So we just put her in the seat. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, it was funny until Adam asked her what she thought about something. Yeah. And I was like, uh, you're messing like, up hey, the hey, bit, hey. man. Don't it's talk not, to her. Yeah. Oh, uh, what was I going to say? No Jumper went very well. Yeah, I thought it was good. No one. Oh, but also that girl who wasn't talking and made like a video where she asked Destiny like his thoughts on like consent. And then Destiny was like, well, you know, sometimes a girl says no, I hate it. but she really means <laughs> yes or something. And now everyone's calling Destiny a rapist. So that girl kind of like. <laughs> edited the thing to like fuck with destiny really yeah it's like kind of edited in a way that makes it sound like he's like a really rapey guy <sighs> that girl annoyed me right away I, we didn't, were, I didn't but wasn't we were bothered. going like i was like oh destiny shake hands like oh yeah what's your name and she's like hmm. did you say uh forza <laughs> forza forza, forza? <laughs> and she goes no forza forza like, <sighs> it's gonna be one of those days. Does she have like two million followers or something stupid like that? Yeah, she's a she's a young hot, hot woman who says l- few things. Yeah, we should have taken her to task. You can't. You can't make them feel. Take anything. your clones off. <laughs> It'll be funny. Throw a bunch show. of ones at yeah. her. There you go. You dumb bitch. All right. Well, everybody, I thought our no jumper appearance. Uh, we got a lot of great reviews. Yeah, it was fun. I wish we would have done. You suggested that we do blackface. I thought that would have been. Don't tell them. (laughs) We can still do blackface. (laughs) (laughs) If we walked in no jumper, like, we're like, oh, we just got to go to the bathroom real quick. And then we come out all minstreled up and saunter in. And there's a bunch of rappers. (laughs) That would have been a great, a uh, great appearance. And then we have a fight. Yeah, and then we have a fight. So go, then, when they, hey, are you doing like, blackface? 
question. You go, oh, you're doing blackface. This fucking guy. No, then we fight. We have to fight on each other. This fucking guy got me in the bathroom and put this shit all over me. No, he put this on me. I didn't even want to do this. <laughs> and we started having him rolling around fist fight and throwing chairs. I fucking told you I didn't want to do blackface. I fucking told this you. This was your idea. You're the reason they're all Adam, mad at us. Adam, Adam, Adam. <laughs> Adam, you have to believe me. That messes uh, people up all the time. The classic, classic Star Trek who blackfaced <laughs> who scenario on no I jumper. I fucking told you not to do this. You had this idea. You brought the makeup. <laughs> all right. That's pretty good. I really like that uh, good cop, bad cop routine you guys do with the YouTube TOS on stuff like the Great Reset, mm. where no, we don't says do that. stuff that you know obviously both of you guys agree with, but then Vito <laughs> goes, "Oh no, you can't say that. You can't no, no, say no, that." No, no, no. We, don't, we, don't, we don't do that. We don't do that. I don't know why. That's, I thought that was yeah. another. Th yeah, it's another a real, It's a good cop back. We don't do that. Situation. We don't do that, sir. Uh, oh, okay, let's this do. Show is a nightmare. Four hundred viewers. Wow. Wow. Paul, get your fucking wallets out. Yeah, yeah. Get your fucking <laughs> super chats ready. You guys wait till the last minute every time and it fucks and then we have to wait here like we're waiting for the bus to go to fucking school get your money out get your super chats out now thanks for listening to the show everybody <laughs> don't forget to vote at biggest problem that show biggest problem in mario available at patreon.com slash biggest problem and don't forget back dot buy slash yeah. biggest problem for your crypto, you crypto heads out there. Even if you're not, you can use your credit card. Yeah, you can use if you your go credit there. card if you don't want to give. I'm gonna Patreon do some. I'm cut. gonna do weird NFT shit there too. That's pretty I have cool. Some ideas. I want to do some. Uh, NFTs. Live show sold out, by the way. At live.dick.show for the big, you know, big banana. You gotta make a waiting list to see if anybody cancels their tickets. Yeah, if you didn't get a ticket because you waited yet again, waiting too long. Yeah. Maybe I'll find a way to Maybe make... Maybe they were busy washing their hands, but they didn't roll up their sleeves. Maybe I'll find a way to make tickets available, but you have to do a punishment that at the good. show. You have to do stand-up. That would be good. <laughs> All right. Let's oh, take... wait a minute, wait a minute. I got a surprise for you. Oh, no. Um, I got you no. your own mouse. Oh, really? Yeah, wait, 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 Oh, wait. good. Let me see. Wee! So I can scroll the super chats. Okay, so now we both can scroll the mouse. Yeah, all right. <laughs> That's good. That's helpful. All right. I'll try not to abuse this privilege. Well, I can't take it away. I like every time you're like, I have a present. I'm like, oh, good. Is it a fucking stupid wig? Wait, I do have a present. Thanks oh, God me. damn it. This is. Somebody it's sent too this. Too small in. to be a wig, I think. Uh, it says this one's for Vito. Right. Here, read the card first. This one's for Vito. Stop using oh, stop using shit gas station cables from Patrick. My USB problems have been uh, giving me conniptions. Oh, it's the Anchor Series Five. The choice of fifty-five million happy users. Well, thank you, Patrick. I have is that a, a good one? Yeah, I think so. I think this is the brand that people say to get Anchor. What'd you get? Um, I hope, I don't know if, I, this one might be for you too. I hope this cable works for you. If you're curious, Linus Tech Tips is working on testing all USB cables to filter Ooh. out the shit ones in the meantime. Well, do you need any USB cables? I feel guilty taking all these USB cables for myself, but I need them. <laughs> I mean, if you say it like that. What is it? Just a nice USB cable. Let me see if I need this one Let's first. See. Which one's your, is yours a USB to... I think I need a C to C. But I mean, I can use this one God, as well. this fucking tape. We can each get one. <sighs> is it the same one? I think it's the same one. Yeah, it's C. Were they sent by two different people? No, that was the same guy. I sent them both. Well, then we each get one, I guess. All right. Thank you, Thanks, Patrick, Patrick, for the USB cables from the future. Thanks, buddy. You can always send me free stuff. Anchor. All right. Anchor. I have a P.O. box. You can find the... You have your own P.O. box? Yeah, I never check it, though. And then I go, and they're like, you have a bunch of stupid crap here. <laughs> I got to make... Actually, somebody, like... Some people have sent me stuff, because I was making videos, like, here's what showed up on my P.O. box, and I just haven't yeah. made one in a while, and I feel bad. But I do... I have been getting everyone's packages, up. so thank you. Right there. I know. <laughs> Man. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's the deal. Uh, we get a lot of Super Chats these days, so... Uh, I'll just make you guys aware, if it's a $2 Super Chat, I will try to bang through it a little quicker than some of the other ones. Oh, okay. Doesn't mean I don't love you. 
Raj Gandhi for two. What happened to Chim Chang's need him back? Not enough money to get an answer to that question. Clay Kellinger for nine nine. I mean, COVID got him. Killed COVID him. got him. He's dead. Clay Kellinger, nine ninety nine says nothing. Best super chat in the world. Koof for two. Thank you for not killing yourselves. Thank you, Koof. Clay Kellinger for four ninety nine says Vito looks like a hot pocket. I have no idea what that means. Like goo coming out the top. I don't know. Did you see Hot Pocket? Did you see that if you buy Hot Pockets right now, you get Magic the Gathering Arena codes? So. God, dude, <laughs> fucking. And is, does a Hot po- Does a Hot Pocket have a card? Hot Pocket one. It will uh, five soon. one. Burn. Spend two mana. Sacrifice Hot Pocket to burn the top of your mouth. Along with those shitty Planes Lord of the Rings cards. Hot Pocket. God, those Lord of the Rings cards look like dog shit. I can't believe it. Dude, Eric Iron's black. Eric Iron's, Iron's black. black. It's just fucking. I think retarded. Legolas is Asian. You know what they should do? They should reboot Sesame Street and, and Sesame Street and make Big Bird black. Well, why don't they just make everyone black in Lord of the Rings? Like and the cards black. So you can't even read yeah, it. Just make it. Just make all of them black at that. Write point. it in Ebonics. Why not? Petty for t- uh, twenty. Is Fred the Nonberry Bison just a Buffalo Bill joke? No, I don't think they're going that deep. Uh, oh, I don't even get that joke. <laughs> drop it. Drop it. Give me. Drop and give me 20 reasons uh, why Buffalo no. Bill is actually the hero in Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> Number one, just wanted to be himself. Number two, all cops are bastards. Number three, they had no evidence. They had no evidence to indict Buffalo Bill. Number four, Buffalo all Bill, right, Buffalo Bill was denied all was right. denied gender affirming <laughs> care by by the government, no. by his senator mother. No. If he, his mom was a senator. Or his mom was a senator, right? Right. Republican senator, probably. <laughs> Buffalo is, Bill was a tragic victim, a tragic trans victim, cartoons, a hero, a hero. <laughs> Actually, honorary no. Joe. Buffalo Bill was an Please. honorary Joe. Don't Buffalo you agree, Bill would be Vito? a good G.I. Joe name, honestly. It's kind of like that alliteration. Buffalo Bill is now a G- <laughs> is now a Joe. <laughs> Go Joe. <laughs> I he comes in. Hey kids, I'd fuck me. The more you know. Right, well, do, 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 I don't do. think that's a good episode. Do, 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 I don't do, know do. if that's helpful. All right. Uh, Petty also wants my stupid little plush toy that I stole twenty years ago from a GameStop. Manhun Poogie. Monster Hunter. Oh. Poogies. Oh, that pig. Yeah, the pig. Yeah, it's a cool pig. It is. I, some kid could have had it, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, they would have had a nice whatever. Nobody cares. Riley Edwards for two twenty. Burn the buffalo. No, no. We're very proud of the gender non-binary bison. Don't. God damn it. That's right. <laughs> We're all very proud of Fred the bison. Fred the non-binary bison. When you're getting killed by a drone at thirty thousand feet, you think you care if it's a non-binary bison or a binary bison? Vito, you sure don't. You think when we're raining down hell on those ruskies, you think they care <laughs> if you chopped your dick yeah, off? Now no. drop and give me twenty reasons you no. hate having a dick, you white <laughs> devil. You white devil. That's right. Buffalo Bill, the honorary Jew. <laughs> I'm so lost in this world. Uh, Mike Hunt. Did you know there's an episode of Arthur where they discuss George Floyd? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Chris- <laughs> Christina Was Wade. Was Arthur black? Uh, he was an aardvark. Yeah. Was he black coated? He's kind of black coated. He is black, right? He seems black. I think he's black. Christina Wade for five. I love watching Vito struggle with the reality of the alphabet mafia grooming. Groom. Okay. David we need Gomez. A sound effect for grooming. Grooming. <laughs> we don't need a sound. Can we get uh, the Earthworm Jim guy to do it? To, you grooming. Know. <laughs> grooming. 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 <laughs> <laughs> David Gomez Ow. for five. Ow. Richard making Vito laugh at Sergeant Slaughter is like watching a parent hypnotize a toddler with a toy. <laughs> he's trying to keep Vito from self unaliving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see. Petty for five. Once mu- one must imagine Sergeant Slaughter happy. David Gomez for five. Perfect cold open. Great rhyme and Vito's extra sensual intro. This is going to be a good one. And it was. Tywin uh. Lannister for 220. Vito Spadafore. What, what does that mean? I keep seeing that. Is that, the guy, is that the guy from the Sopranos? Was that his last name? Oh, the gay guy? And the gay one. I don't know. Mike Hunt for five, I gotta say. I don't watch anything gay. If it's gay, I turn it off. No matter what. 
Well, then you're not supporting our proud bison. Uh, well, I was going to say brothers, but. I hate the military, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Hodge says, I, th- I got to say, Dick's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles character voices were spot on, especially Thanks. Krang. Thanks. People wanted us to animate that one. We got to get an animator. 98- I thought you hired a guy. To- oh, no, you hired a clip guy. Yeah, I heard Didn't you. A, well, Did you? I talked to a bunch of clip guys and then I didn't follow up with any of them because uh, I'm a piece of shit. Uh, I'll get back to some of them. Uh, I don't know if we need clips. Do we need clips? Of Start- course. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe we should just have, you know, how they have like separate clip channels that are just like guys doing it. Uh, I don't know, actually. We'll figure it out. If we clip it, we can put it on Twitter and stuff. Yeah, that's true. All right, we'll figure it out. 98 Skull for 5. Maddox is to 80s girl as Vito is to Magic the Gathering. Episodes 82 is the new episode 77. RIP, biggest problem in the universe, too. Oh. At least Vito got red-pilled. Yeah, Magic's going to tear this show apart, Dick. I got to go to those tournaments. Wow. Vegetable Spy 94. Whatever you do, don't call or Magic Or if crazy. someone just works at a Magic card store and can just set the promos aside. Oh, you're still doing it. You're still <laughs> fucking doing that shit. Vegetable Spy for five. The biggest problem in the universe is working for a Fed-funded business and not being able to get high. Yeah, that's some bullshit. Mike Hunt for five. Hair grafting is taking the hair follicles from the back of your head and implanting in the bald spot. You don't need to go to Dubai to do it. No, but it's way cheaper in Dubai. It's not Dubai. It's like Turkey or something. Whatever. It's not fucking Dubai. Well, wherever it is, in Mexico, it was like 14 grand. And wherever this person told me it is, if it's Turkey, it was like six grand. Yeah, Mike, it's it's cheaper outside of America. It's called medical tourism. That's also where I'm going to get them to carve out half my stomach. John Riffs for 10. Where are my crypto hoteps? We will rise. I don't know. Well, we'll find them. Pop quiz for 1999. Says, I wish this was 20. Well, why don't you just donate 2099? And then it will yeah, be. Yeah, then 20. it would be. You fucking Idiot. cheap ass. Cheap bastard. Cheap fuck. <laughs> Thanks for the nineteen ninety nine. Benjamin for five. Hey guys, states start to implement shutdowns around St. Patty's twenty twenty. What are your thoughts on the lockdown three years later? I was a piece of shit and I hate it. It was the worst. Yeah. Although honestly, my life didn't change at all because I'm already a disgusting shut in. So how can my I life really was complain? ruined and all my friend circles were destroyed and no one's the same. And it's like living in a, a ghost. It does feel like, yes, I have no friends left. They either died or moved away. The worst part of the people I have that to hang out we... with Dick and make this alt-right <laughs> podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part. I mean, you know what's shocking is how liberal I actually am. Like, I know. Pro, gay, yeah, I know. whatever. It's like, you're alt-right. Like, oh, which part? The coke and the prostitution yeah. and the gay stuff? Or... The do whatever you want, Les <laughs> Fair Attitude. Uh, um, yeah, go ahead. Were you gonna say something? Yeah, it was the worst part about the COVID lockdowns. Now are the people who think that that we f- that somebody fought back and like, yeah, we wouldn't take any more. It's like, well, yeah, because they t- they already took all the money. They took everything. What do you think? Do you guys yeah. remember what it was? You don't even remember what it was like before. <laughs> we had small businesses and stuff. Now they're now they're they're not even allowing small banks anymore. Mm. Um. Anyway. Yeah, that's a whole rabbit hole. I saw one of those banks was. Too into crypto, so they had to shut them down. Yeah. That's all. Uh, well, they bailed them out, didn't they, SVB? Yeah, but fine. the other one, I think. The other one they let go. Yeah. I'm like, wow, it's tiny. They weren't being DIE enough. DEI enough. Tamungo for 220 Canadian. I showed my girlfriend the show, and she loved Scott's cameo. We got to bring back Mr. Scott Uh-oh. Adams on the show. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, did she? Yeah. Your girlfriend what if, loved it. God damn it. I hate well. Scott Adams. <laughs> Hi, Scott. How have you been? Oh, well, not as good as black people, Vito. Yeah, they're doing I'm pretty good. I'm not getting any $5 million. Well, I'll maybe if you, you get much. if they get $5 million, you're still going to move away from them? Yeah, I'm going to dig a hole. <laughs> dig a hole to get away from the black community? Yeah, I'm going to dig it all the way to China. <laughs> Well, then you're going to be surrounded by Chinese people. <laughs> and then I'm going to fill the hole with jobs so they don't follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Thanks for chiming in, buddy. <laughs> SV for 550 it says, please donate this super chat money to black people. Yes, I'm going to identify as black for the rest pub. of this episode. Yeah, they'll get it there. <laughs> David March for 11 Canadian. Here's a chat to support the world famous YouTuber Vito. When do I get the link to Super Killer? Again, I'm aiming for the end of the month to try and get this it month. Just to get the campaign running. Oh yeah, April Fool's Day, right? Yeah, April yeah, Fool's okay. Day. Okay. 
I got to make the pitch video. So I got to figure out where I'm going to film that. Okay. And how I'm going to film that. Ideal Mexican. Why don't you film it at a gay bar? No. <laughs> no. I would like to I would like to film it somewhere other than my dirty apartment, but I don't know where the fuck I'm going to film it. Why don't you film it in front of the green screen or something? I could. And now green screens look shitty. I don't know. I'll figure okay. something out. You're saying Star Wars looks shitty? Everything looks shitty. Ideal Mexican for 20 American dollars. I know why you're no jumper episode. It took time to come out. For fuck's sake, they bleeped out every other word. Also, I feel like a real dingus for buying two copies of Winner's Drink two days before the app came out. Well, well, the physical version's better. Yeah, I mean, better. I like physical things. The app is fun, though. Um, they bleeped out our... They bleeped they out bleeped bad words? Dest Destiny said some stuff that got bleeped out. I don't know what he said, though. Why? I don't know. There's like some stuff that got said that definitely there were bleeps and people were commenting on it. But I didn't real I didn't rewatch the whole episode because I was there, so I don't know exactly what got bleeped. I didn't even know how to act on that show because I'm like, man, like I don't, I don't know what I, didn't even have I a can topic. or can't say. Yeah. yeah, there's no topic. Um, I think we made the best of it. Well, we didn't accuse Adam of being a pedophile, no, so, so we, we clearly did better than whoever that <laughs> fucking guy was who went on the show. <laughs> Claptrap for 10. Vito, can you shoplift One Piece boosters for me? I'll buy them. Absolutely. Petty for five. There's a particular 20th century German statesman who would win. Okay. You're a <laughs> the guy that was running against Hitler. Yeah. Yeah, he would he agree He had an me. opponent that really messed up. His name was <laughs> Jitler. And, uh, Do you think the guy that was running against Hitler for Chancellor was like, oh, man, I really wish I would have. I really wish I had tried I wish a little I harder changed there. my slogan. I should have spoke a little more forcefully. Do you think Jews are there? He like had a reverse Hitler mustache. It was just on the left and right side. Nothing uh, here. And there's a big gap yeah. in the middle. And he's like, ah, I really thought that look was going to get him. <laughs> should have went the other way with it. You're welcome for 20 American dollars. How likely would it be to get any of the Come Town Boys or Sam Hyde on the show as a guest? I'm going to say next to impossible. Oh, I don't know. Really? They probably come on. If the show grows, that's why I keep telling oh. you guys, tell your friends about yeah. this show. You the guys only have way to we do can it. get good guests, yeah. all these guys do is when you go, hey, do you want to be on my podcast, is they look at the, the Twitter numbers. and the Patreon and the YouTube and they go, no, because you only have 10,000 <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> like, yeah. that's it. That's yeah. the end of the game. Yeah. If the show grows, we can get it fucking everybody. But you got to tell your friends about the show. Yeah. And keep super chatting. Riley Edwards for 550. The amount Vito complains at shop lifts, he should be eligible for the 5 million you voted for this. Fuck oh, you. Get it? So, yeah, I get it. It was a racist uh, assumption made about a certain community. Soul 2X for 199. Libertarian Vito. and Rand Vito. Child, Child Mine, mine Vito. Vito. Put him in a mine, folks. That's what I always say. Put him in a mine. We got a couple other great super chats here. Turkey Tom! Turkey Tom is here for $20, and he says, I'm gay. Tom, <laughs> what a brave what a admission. What a weird thing to say, and oh. I'm serious. Did you see that? Uh, and I'm serious. Did Sneeko have Turkey Tom in his, like, compilation of soy faces? Oh, really? And then he took him out, I think. Why? Because... <laughs> Because Sneeko's afraid of him. What do you mean? I don't even get what's Sneeko going on looks with like a little Sneeko. What did Sneeko man? do? Um, I don't know, but he's the most easily groomed man in the world. Yeah. So if you like, he's uh, if you have an acoustic guitar, if you have a little bit of salt and pepper in mm. your facial hair, you can pretty much make Sneeko do or believe in anything. Is he like one of those guys who like, keeps simping for Andrew Tate? Oh yeah, yeah. That's like a who's uh, simp, who's screwing who move like i don't know because he's simping for andrew tate to get his fans right because i assume that Sneeko someone right now is trying a lot of people right now are trying to take all of andrew tate's fans someone's doing somebody and i can't use the word so i can't communicate <laughs> what's happening okay but tate's doing it to Sneeko and Sneeko's doing it to tate because they want to have the most retards whoever has right. the most retards gets to go to islamic <laughs> heaven <laughs> As it turns out. Well, I must clarify. Turkey Tom did not say that he's gay. We love Turkey yeah, Tom. Yeah, he said, I'm an F slur. I'm an F slur is what he said. <laughs> Carefro for 10. Another great episode. Thank you, Carefro, our beloved moderator. On the John for 11 Canadian. Did they charge? Are Canadians getting charged an extra dollar now because of the exchange rate? All the, Cana all the Canadian dollar amounts are up a dollar from where they normally are. But he says, take my money, you British cigarettes. Wow. Cool. Well, top of the morning to you, F. -Slayer. Mike Hunt for two. Vito, did you read the Mighty Mutanimals? No. 
What's that? Just probably let me look it up. One with of my mouse. One of many. Do you think it's cool that we both yeah, have mice? Dueling mouses. It's very. <laughs> it's probably one of those. I, my keyboard died because I event I spilled one too many beers on yeah. it. So I had to buy a new one, and then I got the new one, and the mouse still worked. It's like, oh man, Vito's gonna love double this. mice. Mighty mute animals. It's probably one of the millions of TMNT clones, and it definitely is. What was the one? It was like tattooed space. No, tattooed teenage something from Beverly Hills. Uh, looks like shit. Yeah, it looks. They all look like shit. I remember that little like stingray looking guy though. What about street sharks? You remember that? Street sharks were cool. They were cool. I was looking at Battle Toads the other day. I'm like, Battle Toads could have been cool, but the plot was stupid. The Battle Toads were kids who got sucked into the Battle Toads universe. And I was oh, like, they no. were no, that's bad. Yeah, no, it should have just been scary. cool to Toads. They were fighting guys. The chick needed to have bigger tits, too. She had pretty big tits. They weren't bad. Yeah, something was off with her. They had a lot going for the Battletoads. They fucked it up. They made a bad Maybe pilot it was hair. where it was kids getting sucked into the Battletoads universe when it should have just been cool toads who fight guys in space. But Captain N was getting sucked in, and that was a good show. Yeah, because he was a human who became himself in the game verse. He didn't That's turn true. into a different character. That's true. Hmm. What about Biker Mice from Mars? That was good. That was okay. Was SWAT okay. Cats. SWAT Cats. That was a good show. Yeah, the TMNT really inspired a lot of <laughs> furries. Derivative. Degenerate oh, God. furries. You know what? Okay, but there's a lot of furries, but there are no turtle furries. Oh, there you, are. No, but do you see people at the furry convention dressed as TMNT guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kicking the shit out of all the other <laughs> No, you don't. They're like, they're not. Look at that poop in the diaper. <laughs> 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 and they make the sounds like in the arcade game. <laughs> the furries do not gravitate towards the turtle characters. There's not a lot. Guys don't have like a turtles fetish, really. I'm sure there's some guys, but hmm. most of the furries gravitate towards, again, Lola Bunny and uh, who else? Because they're not mammals. It's hard to have a... Yeah. Like, where's their wiener? The reptile aspect of the furry community seems very underrepresented. There are a few scalies, as they call them. But they're not uh, too popular. Mm. And if they are, they're like gay dragons. We should go. We should go to a furry convention as Teenage Mutant Turtles and just do like <laughs> green, fa black face paint <laughs> yeah, green. and say it's supposed to be green. <laughs> we got the wrong. <laughs> we bought it. It said green on the thing, and it ended up being black. And do like a tie, and then have like a, sh a thing from Home Depot, a sled or yeah. from Target on our backs. <laughs> You're like, we're furries too. Anyone have a diaper we could shit on? Jesus Teenage Christ. Mutant. I don't Ninja know why Turtles. the diapers are so <laughs> beloved by the furry community. Uh, our good friend Nick for 999 says, I hated how fat Dick looked on that no jumper thumbnail, but Vito looked spot on because, of course, I looked like a big fat idiot as well. I think this mo this mouse of mine might, might need charging. Can you? Uh, it blinks out. Yeah. No, no, it does that. It goes on. It like pauses for a little bit. Well, can you just refresh this page me for me? It's bothered me for years. I don't know why I didn't buy a new one. Yeah, I'll just refresh. We'll see if there's any more super chats. But we want to thank everybody who came by, all our fans. The show keeps growing and getting better and better. Don't forget, you can join us at patreoncom slash problem. L J Cabarino for ten. Dick and Vito, you two are hilarious. If you two were both a dictator of your own island, what rules would you enforce? Also, I would be honored to try and animate you both and be Vito's comic apprentice. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. Uh, rules on my island? No anti-Semitism. <laughs> Five million dollars to that every would black be person. Number one. <laughs> Number one, <laughs> no, absolutely. Like this is the least anti-Semitic well, country in the world. Is going to be only anti-Semitism, and we're going to. Oh, we're going to war. <laughs> Palestine. And too. that's the story of Palestine <laughs> and Israel in a nutshell. On the John for eleven Canadian dollars. Are you guys excited for MDE World Peace Two? I'm excited to see if uh, Mr. Sam Hyde can prove what he's worth to the world. Um, I hope he, I think he's proven that. I was glad that he made it, that he made amends with Charles or like, yeah. didn't, it was like, was nice to him. Those guys were fighting Charles for a while. Was, I didn't realize it. Yeah. And Charles had like a, like a drunken, like meltdown mm. recorded. About what? Just saying Sam's just a piece like of shit. Just like general, you know, entertain, like, oh, so like writer how our stuff. show is going to fall apart. 
Well, neither of us are writers, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> writers have their Speak own kind of yourself, like nihilistic. Sir. Okay. I'm writing a the comic great... is a pamphlet. <laughs> Shut up. It's not a pamphlet. <laughs> Superkiller.org. Sign up for the mailing list. Biggest problem. That show. Vote on the problems. Patreon.com slash biggest problem. Show me our top supporters for the month. Also from backed.by slash biggest problem. Sign up to listen oh, yeah. to the biggest problem in Mario. And uh, please. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Don't drink. You better drink, even if you're sober. Yes.